Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Down to Hell for the second ever. Why am I doing a silly voice? I don't, I don't know. I'll stop doing that. Um, I'm just um, going to eat some cheese over here. <laughs> we, Steph has provided us with, you can't see this, but um, look at this. Charcuterie. Don't use that word. Don't? No. Okay. It's a- I know it's a cheese plate. It's a cheese plate. Well, it isn't. The plate Don't, is made. Where, of, where did that word come from plastic, suddenly? And why is everyone using it? Plate with cheese. And, so we're just going to sit here and eat. When I grew up, my mom would yell, Do you want a cheese plate? Welcome to Eating Cheese with Doug Bradley. And I'd say, Yes, I would like a cheese plate. You, Thank um, you. You people uh, entertain yourselves. Um, somebody already said, Hat a plate or somebody that they love me, which is very nice of you. And someone said, How are you, Doug? And I'm very well. Um, so, uh, I love you too, for what it's worth. Do you? I do. Oh, that's <laughs> lucky because you're my wife. Have some cheese. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Um, yes, so we're going to do uh, another of our silly um horror quizzes, which might be the last one because we probably don't know anything else about horror movies after we're running out of questions, questions. I think. Gonna have to go online and look for the the bumper book of horror. Well, I think we should get the. Uh, there's a trivial, a horror theme, Trivial Pursuit. Why don't we own should, that? I don't know. We should do. I'm very good at Trivial Pursuit. I do own it. It's pretty cool. Oh, uh, do you? Is it good? I do. Yes. Okay. I Is found it, it at like a uh, TJ Maxx for like five dollars. Nice. <laughs> cool. We should do regular Trivial Pursuit. Well, yes. Uh, everybody, everybody who played Trivial Pursuit against me always knew to ask me geography when I got. Into, oh, into the middle for the last piece because mm. my my sense of geography is absolutely mine is equally bad you're just terrible. better than mine your american geography is, is better than yours than mine yes. as an american yes my my geography of pittsburgh is better than yours this is also true and, and you were born here yeah this is true <laughs> what's that i don't know <laughs> how do we get to here don't I ask don't me <laughs> How far away is? <laughs> no idea. Um, I just saw something in the chat that was actually a, a good question that I have wondered as well. So if you don't mind, Doug, what's your favorite ghost song? Ooh. Oh, Ooh. wow. That's that's really hard. Yeah, I, Doug you said to me, by, by the way, way, I had my ghost shirt on and Doug said, oh, oh. I guess I can't wear my ghost shirt, too. And I said, you can. You're can the I... lovers. Yeah, look at that. You can you can uh, match shirts. His right. uh, ghost shirts. Well, they're, they are different technically, so that's good. Yeah. In... Love the purple highlight. Um, yes. Entirely done um, uh, separately because, of course, new the single today. Well, um, you are the sunshine. And it's no, a Liverpool call fan. Me very, little uh, Don't get call me Little Sunshine. Call me Little Sunshine. What did you I want? Did. You are my sunshine, That's, my yeah. only sunshine. That's really um, it. And it's very good. And uh, as a Liverpool fan, I'm delighted because it um, contains the line, you will never walk alone repeatedly, which is, um, of course, uh, Liverpool song. Uh, I'm very bad at remembering titles. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, Pinnacle to the Pit, I love very much. Um, oh, someone just said that. Uh, 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 um, he is. I like a great deal. He is is unbelievable. Brilliant great. song. Um, I like uh, Mommy Dust and uh, Zombie Queen and oh god, the one you really like off the last album. Which image? Which image? There's another one I'm thinking of, and. What's um? I like uh, Deus in Absentia. It's one of my favorites. Which one? You have to hum it to me. No, I don't hum. I don't, don't? sing and I don't hum. Okay. At least not in the company of others. Steph in the sings, car, sings the in the car on her own. Yes. <laughs> no one ever hears. No one. <laughs> nope. But do you sing well when you sing? I don't know. No one ever tell me otherwise. <laughs> I I always quote Mark Twain. In relation to obviously you. i don't think i do or i would sing out loud to other people this is true but what if i have an amazing voice and speaking well, all this time we will never no one will ever know um uh, mark twain said those people who have heard me sing tell me i don't. don't yeah it's probably like that <laughs> um 
uh, oh God, what's what I do it with a lot of feeling though, for what it's yeah, worth. Yeah. Um, no, no, your friend Dev. Oh, uh, Memento Mori. Memento Mori okay. uh, is very much a, a favorite. As Life well. Eternal. Yeah. Um, it's a long list, and I think it I'd is. be I would struggle to to name one. Really, is he is your favorite, David? Yeah, that's probably. I mean, that's up there. Um, year Zero, I'm mm. a big fan of. Yes, I know that's kind of cliche, live. but I mean, they're all they're all great live. But that's there's a lot of um, majesty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the lights and pyrotechnics to that. I'm gonna do Year Zero, which is yes. great. I, I actually uh, I saw them in Columbus maybe two three years ago. Um, the whole like burning of the incense before the show, like Wait, were we at the same show and we don't we didn't realize it? In probably twenty nineteen October. We haven't seen them in Columbus. I don't know, man. Yeah. When was that? I I think I think it was spring. I, I think it was April or May. Oh okay. And it might have been twenty eighteen. It it was in Ohio, maybe Cincinnati, twenty nineteen no. October. We've it seen was. Them. I'm telling We've you. We've seen them in Pittsburgh, Dallas, Minneapolis. We've seen them in Ohio. No, Niagara Falls. We drove to Ohio in 2019 before the fucking plague and saw them. And that's when I met. Yes. Oh, that was on the stadium tour. No. Where was the old, the old theater? That was Minneapolis. That was that was the last time we saw them. You see the them at the Masonic Temple? It was October, I'm telling Before you. Before Tobias unleashed no. the plague on us all. Yeah, by, by Tobias making, conveniently wrote an album an about album the plague about and the disappeared plague. for an yes. hour. I mean, a year, an hour. An hour. <laughs> they play Columbus um, February 7th. I might have to open up my calendar. Sure, February 14th. Right. I hope it's not a Thursday. <laughs> there will be. Not a Thursday, it's a Monday. Boom. Um, uh, and apparently Steph said they were supposed to be on Jimmy Kimmel tonight, but... Yeah, for some it, reason uh, that's not happening. Yeah, the schedule says it's something different. But okay. yeah, new album mm. out in March, March 11th. Yes. Anyway. Untangle my headphone wire. There we go. That's good. So uh, for the trivia prizes, I guess we'll do a first and second place. Is that what we did last time? First and second place winners? I think so. Yes. We'll give either a choice of... Uh, it, what a signed eight by ten, okay. or if you have uh, Dead by Daylight and would like the Hellraiser chapter, we will give you the code for the Hellraiser chapter, so you get to pick. Because not everybody's a gamer, so uh, including me. Um, yes. Shall Shall we talk about this thing quickly? What's to talk about? You said questions have been asked. What well, no, there haven't been. Somebody just said Dead by Daylight. Dead um, by Daylight. Okay. Yeah. Well, so Dead, Dead by Daylight is happening, and I'm on it, and it's me. Um, and uh, for all the times that I said it wasn't me, that's because it wasn't me. Um, and for all the times that I said I hadn't been contacted by anybody from Dead by Daylight, that was because I hadn't been contacted from anybody by anybody from Dead by Daylight. As I say, I'm not a gamer. And this kind of started in August, very slightly surreally for me um, at um, Steel City Con here in Pittsburgh. Um, fans suddenly started coming down the line and saying to me, are you going to do the Hellraiser chapter of Dead by Daylight? And I had never heard of Dead by Daylight. I didn't know what Dead by Daylight was. I had no idea what they were talking about, much less uh, a Hellraiser chapter thereof so I kept on denying all knowledge of it um, because I had no knowledge of it uh, really but by um by a, a slightly circuitous route which I don't entirely understand myself and I won't bore you <laughs> with uh, I we I, we have now reached the point where I am on dead by daylight and I know what dead by daylight is sort of not really kind of. <laughs> and I saw the there was that strange early bit of graphics that was released when it wasn't my voice it was somebody with an English accent pretending to be me which I didn't think was very good but then they they released the um the, 
the bit look, of, I the bit you showed me, the bit of stuff with I don't my, know what they call it. They with call my all voice them on. Different yeah, I don't know. Things. But it, well, it was pictures that moved, images. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. The one you showed me. Yes. Yes. Animation. Yes. Whatever it is in game land talk. Uh, and I thought that looked rather good. And There's I always a lot of abbreviations for, for things in the games, like <laughs> right. DLC and You're right. all of that. Right. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's whatever. Just, it's just anyway, games. it's your voice. It's me. You are the voice of Pinhead in it's the me. game. Um, and, uh, and you then, went into a studio and did I it. I did. For the person who <laughs> keeps insisting. He didn't. He couldn't. <laughs> I, I know my friend of a friend at home because the COVID restrictions. I'm like, who the fuck is this person? I'm like, I keep saying this <laughs> friggin' weirdo. Stop. Uh, hi, my name is Doug Bradley, and I went to PMI Studios in Pittsburgh to record those. No, you didn't. You oh, did it, how? You had to because of COVID restrictions. That's strange. Anyway. Um, so. That's that. And I mean, they were being very, very it was quite neat because they'd, um, they'd, they'd got the lines from the original movie. So I was trying to, because, you know, over the years, and God knows how many times I've said, I'll tear your soul apart and we have such sights to show you and your, your suffering will be legendary, even in hell. And I think I'm doing it like in the movies. But when I, when I was, uh, Going back to the originals, it was surprising how, uh, you know, how often I thought, oh, God, I, I take a pause between those two words and I never realized mm -hmm. I did. So uh, we were being very careful to try and match to the original. Um, and from what I heard, I, I think I've done a pretty good job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well done. Well, the me. funny thing is, um, I mean, you didn't you know, have any. Um... With the exception that my vocal cords are 35 years older than they were and there's nothing i can do about that i mean you basically can you, can uh you turn the ring down recorded and right didn't um now i'm over here i can still hear you though i said well you know basically that whoever you know dealt with the um the the uh altering of the voice lines did a good job because obviously you don't really sound like that I mean, yes um, yes i mean so. people, people ask me that question a lot is it you? And the answer is yes, it's it's me, but it was treated electronically. Uh, what I always say is um, I'm good, but I'm not that good. Uh, and and the next bit of the story, which I, I, I always add to that, is that I don't know exactly what they did to make me sound the way I did uh, in Hellraiser. And here's the thing, nobody does. Uh, what happened after we'd filmed uh, Hellraiser was that I got a call to go into the Laneley Studios in Soho in London, basically to re-record all Penhead's lines, re-record them all, which it would be for two reasons. That's just basic ADRing because there's, you know, noise on set or the line isn't recorded cleanly or you, you know, you just can't be heard or whatever. Um, but also in the case of Penhead, they wanted all the lines clean so they could treat them and change them. So I re-recorded all my lines. They did what they did. We all went away and we were all very happy. And then uh, the following year, we, uh, uh, or uh, was it the following year? I guess it was. We, um, we shot, uh, no, two years later, 1988, we shot Hellbound. And I got a call saying, would you go to the Laneley Studios in Soho to re-record all your lines for the same reason? So in I went, and uh, it was pretty much the same guys. Um, I think it was all guys. Um, uh, and when I went in, they said, oh, hi, Doug. Um, you know what? We wish we'd known it was going to be a sequel because we'd have taken notes. We have no fucking idea what we did to make you sound the way you did in Hellraiser. So we're going to have to make it up all over again. So they did. And... Uh, it still sounded pretty good and, and they went away happy. And then, of course, Hellraiser 3 was the first Hellraiser movie to be shot here in the States, in North Carolina. And then we did reshoots in L.A. And uh, I was called into a studio in Los Angeles to do the same thing for the same reason. Uh, in I go and, and the guys say, hey, hi, Doug. Uh, so uh, what is it we need to do to make you sound like Pinhead? <laughs> 
said, I have uh, no, no idea, no idea. You know, me, I'm just the lip flapper, the actor. Um, uh, so they had to reinvent it from the ground up. And I, I think it would be true to say that uh, the whole process has probably been, uh, you know, reinvented from scratch. Every time. Uh, every time, every movie. Um, there you go. Ready? Do you want to hear him? the strange? My, my chair is being very creaky if people can hear it. I apologize. Go ahead, do it. it. Can you hear that, David? What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I had no context. Like, I was looking at chat, and I just saw you pop out of your chair, and I was like, are we okay? <laughs> can you hear that? Yeah, that's... Uh... It's not a fart noise. I, wish I hope you never get rid of that chair. We're, we're claiming it's not a fart noise. <laughs> <laughs> a little squeak. That's going to be the correct answer signal. The correct. Do we have any other questions before we? Who's the start lady next to Doug? Questions. Who's the lady next? To... <laughs> Did somebody ask that. Oh, this one. Do we mean no. this one or this one? The one eating copious amounts of cheese. You've eaten nearly all the cheese. I'm, I'm talking. I enjoy cheese. Which lady do you mean, person who asked that question? Probably me. This I'm is... not very often called a lady, but. This is Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> My husband. <laughs> this here is Steph Shulo, and she is my wife. Hello. And this is a dead nun. We haven't named her yet. That Steph made. There's four stars to the show. Doug, Steph, the nun, and the chair now. And the chair. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I'm never going to get tired of that. No, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping my, my chair starts to make noise. Was that your chair, David? No, that was just me, like, letting uh. out. <laughs> <laughs> I can make I my don't. door creak to my apartment. That's about it. Oh. Uh, you have your handy gas? How's your doggy? It's all crumbled, remember? Right. Yeah, she's great. Me. I take her with me everywhere I go. She's just, yeah. she's a backseat driver. Aww. Cool. Cool. Is she Aww. kind of adjusting to the great big wide world she is but what i've realized is because she was never around dogs and her yeah. litters were always taken right away Aww. she's starting to act like a cat <laughs> like she she mimics everything the cats do she doesn't bark like the cat like will walk up to me and i'll rub its like you know rub their head and then misty will walk up to me and then put her head up and watch like <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> David rescued a what four year old? Yeah, four year old, four -year -old golden retriever. He was just doing nothing but being kept in a cage and being bred, and just never had knew puppies and had her life. puppies taken away from her yeah, and every time. more puppies taken away from her. She's, yeah, she's get you into heaven, David. She's now going to be loved and adored. Um, <laughs> and her and the hairless cat get along great. Aw, what was what was the name we were going to give her? Did we? No, she came with a name, didn't she? Ooh. No, we gave her a name. Oh, your doggy wasn't named. It was numbered. She was numbered, right? Yeah. Uh. Well, the the shelter that she was at for two hours before I picked her up was Delilah. Oh. And I was yeah. like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, That's not for me. But she responds to Misty, and right now she's sleeping by the door because she probably wants to go for another car ride. Oh. Um. So are you just calling her dog? No, I call her Misty. Misty. Aww. That nice. was my old cat's okay. name. My yeah. cat named Misty. No, that's sweet. Um, there are a few questions here. Do you want to okay. just touch sure. on a, a yep. few questions go fairly ahead. quickly before mm -hmm. we go into thingy? Um, there's several asking if you would ever play Pinhead again. Obviously, some have heard your answer to that and some haven't. So yeah. Uh, well, the answer is I I've 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 never said I wouldn't. I've never said I'm done. Um, I've always said it. You know, I'm realistic about it. Um, I'm, I am 35 years older than when I first played the character. I'm very nearly 20 years older than the last time I played the character, not counting the pinhead experience. 
the fan experience thing in uh, Arizona. Uh, and of course, we have the remake finally coming upon us at some point this year with uh, Jamie Clayton cast as, uh, uh, who is a transgender woman cast as Pinhead, which is fascinating. And I should be interested in seeing that. But um, short answer is yes. Well, I actually have an interesting story about Jamie that I just found out about. One of my good friends, his friend, this was years ago, they used to date. Oh. And when, like, he told me, he was like, yeah, it was like a, he's like, yeah, what's funny you do the Horror Hub thing is I, I know, like, the new Pinhead. And I was like, okay. And he's like, yeah. And he was just getting so excited about the story. Like, I'm sure there was more context to it, but he just told me, he was like, it, basically, it was a 10 minute story that ended with, my friend used to date Jamie. And I was like, okay. Roundabout way. <laughs> hmm. Not utterly interesting, that's for sure. I mean, no uh, is, it, is it still coming out this year? Or as do they push as, it? As far as again? I know, it's it's long since done. Um, that's all I know. They, everything seems to be yeah, someone being kept I, um, quiet and under wraps. Uh, uh, FX artist, I sort of know through um, uh, Instagram posted uh pictures of her having her life cast on and everything oh, so cool. evidently right. they're that far on but mm -hmm. um i'm sorry i'm chewing into the microphone you're having your charcuterie board yeah when did that when did that start within the last two years it, it, it probably was a tiktok thing well i think the french would say it's been around a while um for it is a french word um well, we're not French, so it's cheese plate. Well, you know, so yeah. don't call it that. Call you it you go to a restaurant and it, you would say, like, I want a cheese plate. Now they have, like, a whole dedicated menu to it. Charcuterie. I often think if I were, you know, in prison, about to be put to death, and I was offered a final meal, wow. I often think it would be a, it would be a cheese plate. What would you be put to death for? I don't see you committing that vile of a crime. Death, murder. <laughs> you heard it first <laughs> we are no, all no accomplices hesitation. in this stream <laughs> no hesitation did you notice that yep yeah does that does that make me an accessory what are you doing well you're a bit far away from your microphone i think yeah. better? so i was bringing your microphone to muhammad and then um okay a cheese sampler Okay. Cheese sampler. Yeah. Yes. Maple cheese. You said there were a couple of questions. To be. Yeah, but you know how this goes. So. Uh, the, the chat stream fast, flies I by. I can't keep track. There was another question here. Did ever do pinhead again? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Well, that's an interesting thing. Oh, oh, the makeup one. The makeup one. How long did the makeup no, take? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Is it true? That you uh, applied. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't. I have no idea how this ever got out there. The notion that I um. Well, I you were listed in the credits at some my, point, weren't you? Well, I was, but as that a was a joke. It wasn't as a joke. It was because mm -hmm. I did actually uh, do some hands-on assisting as a kind of um, voluntary member of Bob Keane's image animation special effects team uh, while we were shooting Hellraiser three in Greensboro, North Carolina on a night shoot. Uh, Bob had a shot to get and he was suddenly very short-handed. And I was, uh, I was, I was not working, but I was uh, all through that week, we were on nights and the best way to stay on turnaround because I was working some nights during the week, but not every night. The best way to stay on turnaround is to go and be on set and be, you know, up and awake all night and then go back and sleep during the day and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm standing around doing nothing while Bob, because uh, he was directing second unit, he was in charge of the special effects makeup crew, he had some of his people working on uh, the main set, he had one of his crew playing the character who needed to have the special effects stuff done on him, uh, um, so he was suddenly shorthanded, and I, uh, I said, um, you know, Bob, I'm standing here, doing nothing and he looked at me and he Bob, Bob 
Bob's he's a wonderful guy. I love him. He's but he's he's big guy, big beard. He and he talks, he talks like that. He, he looked at me, sit on one side, he said, You know what? I don't think I'd do this with anybody else, but you? Yeah, all right, you've got a job. Off you go. So um off I went. And that uh so that's how I came to be credited on Hellraiser 3 as Bill Bradley in the makeup effects group. Bill there Bradley. is a picture of me standing in front of the mirror with the makeup on, with a paintbrush in my mouth, um, pretending to do, you know, doing doing that. And I, I guess maybe that picture escaped and people put two and two together and made five. It is true that I often removed the makeup myself. So that may also be a part of the myth. And that was partly because I hated the makeup, makeup removal more than I, more than the makeup application, which was fine. I quite, I, I rather enjoyed that process. The removal was horrible because everything is glued to you. And you can't just pull it off or you're going to take your skin with it. That's not advisable. Um, so you have to get a pot of oil and a brush and you, you have a bald cap on top of your head. I had hair then quite a lot of it. Um, uh, so, so the 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 makeup on the top of the head is glued to the bald cap and not to me. So you can break that open. And then where your where skin starts here, you're attached to it. So it's a process of paintbrush in, in the oil jar. Oil, 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 da da dum da da dum da da dum da da dum and bit by bit, the oil breaks down the adhesive and this starts to pull down. And there'd always come a bit, a point where I had the makeup hanging off my eyebrows with people doing this, where it, which would make me start to feel physically sick. And it was a very strange um, uh, um, reaction. I don't really know why, but also if you're doing it yourself, you know how, you, you know your pain tolerance, you know, how much you can pull on the makeup while you're trying to get the brush in behind it to break down the adhesive. Um, plus the fact that the, the main adhesive that they used for the prosthetic makeup, which, which is stuff called Prosade, which I had never heard of before the first time I had the makeup applied to me. So I, you know, calmly inquired what Prosade is. And it turns out that it was uh, an adhesive um, first used in Vietnam for, you know, gluing people back together uh, in an emergency to get them off the battlefield, just to kind of hold them together and hold, literally to hold their guts in place until they got back to the field hospital and they could do something, you know, more permanent with, the, with them. So that it was, it was used for gluing skin to skin and it, uh, I've seen actors um, at the end of a day sit down and, and kind of pull it off because they've sweated the prosade off. Well, maybe because Pinhead never moves very much, so I never, <laughs> <laughs> I never broke sweat um, uh, playing the character uh, or for whatever reason, I don't know, but it stuck to me like a second skin, so it was not always trying to take it off in, um, in, 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 Arizona, in, in Arizona 2017 yeah. was misery they you. they uh they took to diluting the prosade 50 50 50 with water to uh, try and make it less adhesive it didn't make a scrap of difference they didn't they couldn't dilute it anymore or it would have you know you'd reach the point where it wasn't really sticking properly and that wouldn't have been uh, a good idea either and the the, the worst thing was getting in here this is this is very tender skin around this area and the constant rubbing particularly if you would if i had two or three days in makeup back to back by the end of the third day this would start to get i mean really raw not not too nice mm. um plus you're all you're all forever picking picking bits of glue and paint and and latex from behind your ears for the next the next uh the next couple of days but applying the applying the makeup nope 
never did that. Um, oh, for the love of, are you going to do love for the love of horror in Manchester? I think we were talking to somebody from there, weren't we? Probably not this year, but I know, I know we, um, we have a stamp. We want to do that. Yes, we have a stampede in October at the moment. Everybody, everybody wants me to do shows in October, and um, this has got slightly complicated too for the most delightful of reasons, which is that my daughter's getting married, and it looks as though uh, back in the UK, um, and uh, it looks as though that's going to be in October. Not sure mm -hmm. yet, but uh, I think Manchester's not going to happen this year unfortunately. We are having decided after doing Steel City Con last August that we were going to uh, uh, knock conventions on the head a while again because we were very alarmed by a what the numbers were doing and b the number of people at Steel City Con here <laughs> unmasked um, that we were going to pull back from conventions again. Um, well, we just had a conversation about this and we have reassessed and we're coming out to play again, boys and Meeting girls. Meeting the house. Um, and uh, uh, first up will be um, Days of the Dead in Atlanta at the end of February. And then I think it looks as though we're going to do Monster Mania in Cherry Hill, New Jersey in August. And, Possibly. Uh, and I'm pretty certain that's that's happening but you you'll see announcements don't don't assume it's happening until it's officially announced by you know on monster mania's website but also uh, one of the shows i cancelled last year was monster mania in hunt valley which is just outside baltimore maryland um so i've said to dave hagan who's the promoter of monster monster mania um that i would I would ring fence his dates and uh, for the Baltimore show that I cancelled last year and he's agreed to that. That I think is 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 the weekend r right at the end of September, beginning of October. I think that's that weekend, Baltimore. And it would be very cool to do Monster Mania in Cherry Hill in uh, August. Um, and I think I should be there really because it will be the 50th Monster Mania convention. And I was at the very first monster mania that doesn't make me feel old nothing will but then he you know he has uh, he has been doing two shows a year for for a long time and three uh shows a year why am i sitting here struggling to read Jesus. <laughs> i can't get it through my head that i do this now i bought you you bought me an old lady chain for my I glasses did. i know you i know you haven't used it yet have you um i did and you sage did. laughed at me so you won't use it? Well, I will. <clears throat> I will. Yes, I will. I just, I completely am sitting here struggling. And, God, I can't see. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Go ahead. Have you ever stolen anything from set? Stolen? Yeah. No. The only reason I ask is I saw the... Um... I've taken things with permission. But... I, I saw like Robert Downey Jr. like has the, the A that like from the avengers in his office and he just right. took it he just he just, he just told his assistant just to ship it to him yeah. so i was like hey that's a power move heck yeah yes what is the yeah, least well. cenobite thing that doug does <laughs> well god he wears like, slippers for ages <laughs> should i leave the room i mean you where do i begin i mean everything you do is un -cenobite like i hope so yeah. god <laughs> <laughs> yeah very It'd be easier to say what is the most Cenobite thing. Yeah. I, or the most Cenobite-like thing that I do. Is that the correct emphasis? Probably. I Sorry, couldn't, it's I couldn't. your only you know, announcement. No, this. I don't. I mean, everything. I mean. Paint by numbers. You paint by numbers. Would, Beth, would Pinhead do paint by numbers? No. No? He would probably paint for real. Yeah, he, with blood. Do, well, yeah. I was going to say he'd do paint by numbers with blood and body yeah. parts. Yes. But. Yeah. The least um, Cenobite thing. Walking the dog. <laughs> Grabbing the newspaper in the morning. <laughs> eating, eating porridge for breakfast, reading the newspapers. S sitting in a lazy boy recliner, <laughs> reading the paper. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Drinking tea, of course. Pin I mean, you could see Pinhead doing all. Well, this you stuff wanted to do a whole series. You kept insisting yeah, we break that we the put internet. As, if I if, if he, I got into <laughs> Pinhead makeup and costume, you know, we and, did and just lived his regular just life. Just did normal things. Yeah, just that would be great. Yeah. Oh, Pinhead takes a nap in the Lazy Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Pinhead reads the book. Pinhead walks the dog. Pinhead makes a cup of tea. Oh. Yeah, it's like little 10 second snippets. That, oh, yeah, man. It would, be huge. Yeah. it would be huge, I know. But but the work involved in that? Making coffee. At that on. point, we'd have to cheat it and probably throw on like a mask. A mask. Yeah. Like a life, you know. Back. Yeah, yeah the costume, I, the constant yeah. process of a three hour makeup process for a 10 second video. Yeah. I, and I a, and a two hour. That quite quickly. Unless hour you shot method. them all in one day, you know? Like you just well, put the out like. Yeah. Also, you, you can you can do a shorthand of the make makeup, which we did for quite a lot of the publicity appearances, which you know was just to kind of find key places where it need to be needed to be glued to, basically, so it wouldn't fall off. But you know, it's not not the same requirements for publicity stuff as knowing that a camera is going to come in and look at you, you know, in that frame. So everything talking has in to your be sleep. Perfect. How do you know Pinhead doesn't talk in his sleep? Does he Pinhead doesn't, sleep? He probably doesn't say the things you say in your sleep. What do I say in your sleep? Oh boy. I recorded myself once. We were just talking about this because there's, there's something Steph There's a friend of mine who's been posting. He's been recording himself sleeping. And I, I Makes I all kinds it. of odd noises and then he posts them online. Uh, in, in, a, in a very clear Cockney accent, I said, I said, stray away, stray away. Oh, but he has like entire conversations in his sleep and very clear. They're not, it's not like he mum. Sometimes you mumble, but I like, hope you take notes. <laughs> well, I always think I, I'm like, what? Usually I'm like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're talking to me. What? <laughs> startling. Somebody suddenly next to you talking. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, huh? I'm no, like, knowing what? that you went what? to sleep and you're supposed to be sleeping and they're just talking. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think to myself often, I'm like, oh, I'll remember that. That was fucking weird. Yeah. I'll, re I'll remember that. And he's having like full on conversations or saying weird things about conventions or, yeah. Conventions. <laughs> Fuck the fans. I hate them all. <laughs> Now you were saying something the other night. It was very clear. It was, oh. It's going on and on, but oh. I never remember. What about? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm oh. not going to wake up and write them down. Paranormal uh, activity. Doug record. Bradley's house. Yeah, record, put that thing up. We'll play them back on the stream. It'll be hilarious. Oh, yes. <laughs> delivering myself of great insights for the oh, benefit probably. of all but you're not allowed to, You're not allowed to watch them beforehand, so you'll be yeah, reacting to it the first I'm time. <laughs> <laughs> start yeah see start taping it yeah well that's a series too there's an app you can yeah that's what you use yeah yeah it's sound activated so it doesn't run all night what's ouch what's the ouch for but it you have to go through hours of snoring before you get to me talking yeah that's true too or me saying can you roll over can you roll off your back I snore when I'm on my back. <laughs> okay, here, here's a suggestion from chat. A calendar of the not so Cenobite. <laughs> and head makes oatmeal. <laughs> We're wearing an apron, kiss the cook. Why well, I, I I've posted pictures of Doug in his apron cooking. I've never seen that. Mm -mm. No. I think I posted one um on Christmas. You were cooking the turducken. The and then, and then there was he had opera on, and he's got his little skeleton kitchen apron on. <laughs> oh, that was and that was. What are you laughing at, David? I just love it. I I absolutely. Yes, adore that it. was just the gag. Doesn't act that doesn't actually hate his fans. It just was, joking. No, See that just, you say oh, shit God. like that. Just kidding. Americans. Irony, America. Irony. <laughs> um. Uh. Doug Bradley is fluent in Mandarin in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Could well be, for all we know. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that wasn't opera. That was Handel's Messiah. Oh, that's right. Yes, I, true. I like to play. I should send that to you, David. You could play it. We'll do. <laughs> well, let's start the let's start the trivia. Let's stop it. this 
goddamn trivia. Mm -hmm. So uh, we we uh, we we're set up with a leaderboard and um... yeah, do we have that ready? Yep, leaderboard is on the screen. You can see it on the little Twitch window, and then we have a nice little fifteen second timer as well, Ooh, which I'm going to move. I think, think that's too long. Right. I think that gives these. Is, these is that what we did before? Cheating mad. I thought levels. we did fifteen. I, 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 today I put it at 30 and I was like there was no way that's it was at 30 way seconds. Too long. Yeah, yeah we way can't too we long. can't give them enough time to Google the answer. Yeah. Do Google and hell will I, come for you. I think 15 seconds is sufficient. And who's who's our mega donor every week? Zebra? Co no, koala. Koala. Yes. That was close. Zebras, koalas, they yeah. you know. Koalas um, in here right now. Yes, yes. yes koala right and um uh what's the other one? Koala is is our most gifted sub giver every week. And uh, um, did did you win the trivia, Koala? Can't remember now. <clears throat> I think I think. It, I think it was a first time viewer that won the trivia. Was um, it? that was the, that was the only week that I remember Koala not winning. <laughs> wow. uh, we, we we love you, Koala. We love yes. you all. Um. Gifted subs are important, of course. Um, they do help keep the show afloat. Um, so, you know, if, if you've hated every minute of this so far, uh, don't 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 bother buying any gifted subs. <laughs> uh, uh, do remember that these shows uh, live right now are always available on demand. So if no, you've missed that's any not how that works, are they? Yes. Is that how it works? Wait, what did you say? Oh, the previous shows. Previous shows. Yeah, right, right. Yes. Right. So um, as a subscription, for, what is it, five five dollars a month? Uh, yes. Gets you access all. all and you can go monthly. You don't our, have to sign up for any year. Our marvelous guests and and all the <laughs> silliness that, that we do when we don't have um, guests. And if you have an Amazon Prime membership, uh, you you have one free subscription, one month free uh if you are is that a one-off thing or do you get one every month if, one if... every month really it's nice yep. just like hatter plays just subscribed to our channel with prime well, how does that work okay so that means that anybody with a with a prime account which is almost everybody on the planet surely, well... um can go and watch all the shows all the time for nothing yep all they have to do is subscribe to us and that's do it. amazon pay us for that yes Good. Wow. Okay. We get the we get the Bezos box. Okay. Oh, nice. That's all right then. <laughs> the Bezos box. <laughs> I'm always trying to avoid. I mean, I'm buying books again at the moment, and I'm. I keep thinking I should really go to Barnes and Noble and not to Amazon, to do it. Yeah. But if you yeah. do it from Amazon, that's supporting like their roots. That's uh that's day one when they were a bookstore online. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. you know. But you, you know, I would. If if Amazon got into trouble, I wouldn't. It would be. Annoying, but I wouldn't shed tears. If Barnes and Noble closes down, I I'll be very upset. That's sad. Upset. I don't think I don't think they can because they're the only like large chain. I mean, there's like books a million that are in certain malls right. and stuff like that. But Walden Walden books. Oh, probably... I remember. No, I yeah. remember Walden. Walden yep. Okay. Oh, we got another sub from Spawny Thirty Three. Well, what was the last one? The 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 big chain that closed. Toys R Us. <laughs> Toys R Us. <laughs> no, book chain. Borders. borders. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, borders. shit. Oh, that nice one's out of my head. Love. Oh, we got another sub. Nice. Borders. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It's wonderful. David, um, what does this mean? There is not enough available storage to download this video. You can manage your storage and settings. All I'm trying to do is send you a 15 second video. Is your phone full on storage? No. How I confident have... are you in that? I am very confident. Look, see, showing Doug. Uh, oh shit! No, that's why does it say sixty-three, 63 of sixty-four gig used? Of sixty-four gig used. Uh, Don't I have the cloud? Of which Some, majority. Something that probably just isn't toggled on right. We can look I, at it. Shit. The shit. These the smartphones. Shit. Okay, let's go. Let's ask questions. Oh, another sub. Okay. They're all coming in. Thank nice. you, everybody. Okay, is everybody ready? Fingers on the buzzer. Everybody ready. And I'm not putting every just so chat knows it's impossible for me to put everybody's name on first, second, and third. So right. I'm gonna mentally keep score and then when one goes up, then we'll put it there. 
Okay. Oh, koala gifting subs. Oh, here we go. Right. Thank you. Uh, wow. 257 in the channel. Fantastic. Nice. We love you. God bless. We love you all. So uh, here's a nice, easy one to get us going. Um, it's a Jaws question. And I think we asked the question last time we did this, the name of the, the famous name of the famous constantly malfunctioning mechanical shark in Jaws. God, I chew like a uh, cow. I just caught which... a glimpse of myself in the monitor. <laughs> Why didn't did... you tell me that? Oh, I didn't notice. I thought you were, you've been hiding behind your filter. Well, that's kind of why I do that, so I can hide. But I just caught a glimpse. Obviously, the camera's <laughs> catching me somehow. I... Does that mean you're going to lie down and like, regurgitate it and chew it again? You can tip me. You can cow tip me. <laughs> fall asleep standing up. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez, <sighs> that is not a good Jeez. sight. But it's not going to stop me from eating, so whatever. <laughs> you're like... <laughs> So the name, anyway. the name of the mechanical shark in Jaws was, of course, Bruce, and that's not the question. The question is, what was the name of the boat? Look at that timer. You forgot the timer? No, I said look at on. it. It's on the bottom right corner. Oh, right. Oh, we just got another five subs, by the way. Nice. There we go. Time's up. I can't pronounce that name. Decry to I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna be able to De do this. De Decrypt Axis. Decrypt Axis. Decrypt Axis. Orca. Correct. Orca. Ding ding. First well one done. in. Your turn. Oh, that's right. I don't like to go in order. This is this is good. I've I have i have never heard this before. How much screen time does Freddy Krueger get in the first Nightmare on Elm Street movie? To the nearest minute. No, I'm going to say exact minute. Exa oh. Strict. Question. Anybody? Question anybody? Mistress. Anybody? The first one I saw was 15. Time's up. For a nap. Nobody got it? I don't even know the answer. Ding, ding. It is. No. Oh. It is seven minutes, apparently. Hatter. Hatter. Isn't that amazing. Hatter plays is very close. Kino Cretan. But is that before I said it? Well, but the timer, the timer was already right. out. So right. uh but ki, ki, who is it? Kino Kino Cretin? Is that what that says? Yes. Um was correct. Seven minutes. Seven Can I minutes. Have a, uh, but a it's it's pen? it's um I put one for you. I can't see it's there. too dark. Um Pinhead is less than 10 minutes in Hellraiser. Uh, what's Hannibal Lecter's screen time? It's more, but 23, 23 minutes. Um, Orson Welles' screen time as Harry Lyme in The Third Man is, prob is probably pretty low. It helps. I have to tell everybody what I learned today. What did you learn today? About Anthony Hopkins. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm very horrified to learn. He's gay. That stop. No, he's not. That Anthony well, Hopkins, no, um, that Anthony Hopkins once dated. <laughs> take a guess. Take a guess, David. Oh boy. Um, Madonna. No. Wow. Uh, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I mean, everybody has. They took a turn on on that. You'll never guess. Yeah, I can't. Very, mm. very, very, very prominent household name. Who got into trouble, and is, is kind of uh, restoring her her name? I'd was, say people. She's, she's almost considered a, a national treasure. I don't. Know I would why, say so. But, but then is. got herself into very serious trouble with yes. the law. Yes. Yeah. Uh, look, Davy Dorco has it. Martha Stewart. Martha, Martha friggin' Stewart. Stewart. Holy shit! Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> How about that? I wouldn't be surprised if Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg were dating. <laughs> yeah, Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg, I'd like to see. Oh, I, I they, they, they for sure at least hooked up once. Let's hope so. That's a wasted opportunity, if not. 
Yeah, so Martha Stewart apparently went out a few times to eat dinner with Anthony Hopkins and could not get past the fact that he was had, well, I guess this is like right after uh, Silence of the Lambs. Um, well, if you ordered a bottle of Chianti, that would be, she could know, not, be the end of the date, really. She couldn't it? get over the, the creepiness of the, you know, the Hannibal Lecter thing and, and did not go out again, to which I said out loud after reading it, stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Um, right. I tried to go to um. Uh, here we go. I'll throw. I'll throw. I'm going to throw in a science fiction question. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Uh, but one of the most well known and uh, mm. and well beloved science fiction films, 1956, um, Forbidden Planet, is loosely based on which of William Shakespeare's plays. I don't know the answer to this. Hmm. Anybody, anybody? Six seconds. The Tempest? Oh, we have an answer, yes. SP Base? SP Base, The Tempest is the correct answer. <clears throat> Followed by lots, two other Tempests and a Hamlet. A few Hamlets, a Hamlet. Wrinkle in Time, that's not a Shakespeare play. Tempest and Tempest. Tempest, lots of people knew it was the Tempest, the Tempest it was. So well done, SP Base. Ready for another? Let's do it. What is the name of the apartment building the guy and Rosemary move into in Rosemary's Baby? Yeah, we need like, do we have music? Apartment 666? Nope. Nope. Apartment 667, the address of the devil's next door neighbor. Is it Dakota? No. They did use the Dakota. They filmed the Dakota uh, for exterior shots. No? Nobody? Nobody, 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 got nobody, that? nobody. So the name of the apartment building oh. in the in the hello lena lovecraft nice to see you with us again in the movie not in real life <laughs> <laughs> nobody got it uh Maybe. they call so it the bramford the bramford okay. in honor of bram stoker i would not have known that all right uh 1933 uh <laughs> one of the classic uh, Golden Age Universal horror films based on H.G. Wells's novel The Invisible Man. Who played The Invisible Man? I like that. <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't get that. It's a wrestling I'll take, thing. I'll take that, that uh, Jason Hellraiser. Was, it, who's typed Claude Arraines, but um, I'll accept, I think, that he meant Claude Rains. So we'll give that to Jason the Hellraiser. Okay. Um, spelt like a shaving razor. Good. Well done. Ready for another? Yes. What was, what was the one I, uh, did I write that down or put that in my notes? <clears throat> okay, I got it. The first film to ever show a flushing toilet oh. on screen. Oh, I know that. Oh, got one already. Yeah, yes. Psycho. Psycho. Uh, Life is in the load. Life, Life is, is in the load. load. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Almost everybody got that. We're getting a lot of people getting right answers. Yeah. It's going to be close as we get down to the wire. Oh my God. I don't We've got four people tied for first. There we go. Four way tie at the top of the leaderboard. Um, what do the following uh, horror films have in common? What unites these? six horror films the black swan the exorcist get out silence of the lambs sixth sense and jaws mm, nope. 
the same director than no. Two seconds. One second. Final guess. The director? Mm. No. Same producer? No. Mm. Universal? No. no. They are the six, the only six horror films uh, to be nominated for Best Picture Oscars. Oh. And the first to win? Um, are you asking me? Yeah. It's the, Do you know that? The, the Silence of the Lambs. Yes. First to be nominated was Exorcist. The Exorcist. Yeah. yeah. The Black Swan, The Exorcist, obviously not in chronological order. Get Out, Silence of the Lambs, Sixth Sense, and Jaws are the only six horror films nominated for uh, Best Picture. Yeah. Nobody got a point. Exorcist, the first to be nominated, and Silence of the Lambs, the, the only <clears throat> to win. Your turn. This is probably an easy one, but I, since, you know, we should, I'm not we should, hugely We should get this. points when they don't get the answer. Then we'd be the winners <laughs> at the end of the evening. Can win your own prize? Yeah. Free Burger King. What? <laughs> <laughs> Which classic horror movie was originally titled The Babysitter Murders? I don't know that. I didn't know it either. What's the answer? Halloween, life is in the load. Ah. So we got our first place. Life there you load. go. Uh, an early lead for life is in the load. Yeah. Well done. Abbreviate in your name. Let's see this. This bit. There's only a few on there that I've marked All right. backups to mine, uh, one of which I think I've sort of already asked. Mm -hmm. um, uh, after playing um, the monster in Frankenstein, probably Boris Karloff's next most well-known uh, performance is as the mummy in the 1932 movie called The Mummy. <clears throat> um, What's the mummy's name? Ten seconds. There we go. David Orko. Uh, yes, David Orko. Oh, spot on. Imhotep. Yep. Is that Davy's second point? I think impressive. so, yeah. Okay, so, yep, that would make sense. Davy is tied. Yeah, see, someone said the Halloween one was uh, too easy. I didn't know it. Well, you know what? <laughs> The, the great truth with, with quiz questions is they're easy when you know the answer. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that because, you know, I'm not a... If you don't know, you just don't know. Not that big into... Um, here's a question. Here's yeah. a question. Not a, not, okay. a, not, not a trivia question. If it's got just, a question mark at the end of it, just it's a, a question. general question for, for the chat. Um, a horror movie that everyone seems to love, but you do not love, that you actively hate mm. curious about what would that be for you the first thing that comes to mind is evil dead see someone else said it too oh, right away right yep yeah exorcist I'm not, exorcist. A, I'm not a big fan of the exorcist what's the one with that uh what is it called mama or not mama um that annoying kid that just cries and screams the entire oh movie. god uh 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 Fuck, what's it called? The, the... You know, yeah, you know what I'm right talking on the about. Tip of my yep. tongue. Uh, he's it's become a meme. He's screaming in the back of the, the car. Friday the 13th. Hellraiser. New <laughs> oh, Babadook. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That movie is oh, terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Lame. Babadook uh, is stupid. The kid is stupid. And the mom is stupid. Yeah. I kind of agree with yeah. that. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's not, not, not for me so much movies that uh, that I actively hate but which I do think are very overrated and, mm. I, and I find it hard to know why they are so you know I do think The Exorcist is overrated mm. um, the BBC's um, uh, BBC Radio 5 a really really um, good critic who I knew back in the day I, I respect him a lot Mark Kermode not only thinks that the Exorcist is the greatest horror movie ever made. He thinks it's the greatest movie ever ma ever made. Period. That's I think bizarre. it's nonsense. That's old. 
And I, yeah. I agree with the Evil Dead. I think that's overrated. I don't quite get it. Um, the Evil Dead is so fucking loud. There's it just is. Constant screaming and noises, and it just, I right. can't deal with it. Yeah. Mm. That came up very, Shining. very quickly. <clears throat> Shining. The the Shining greatly disappointed me. They say. I think it's a it's a movie of two halves. The Shining. I think the first the first half of it is is spellbinding and has some of the scariest moments in horror films for me, and then it kind of it becomes the Jack Nicholson show mm. in the in the last Jack hour, Nicholson which isn't, Coke. isn't necessarily a bad thing because I love Jack, but uh, it gets a bit out of hand. I think. Then I love all the stuff in the snow right at the end. Army, Army of Darkness. I've again. never seen Army of Darkness. The Shining. I don't like wise so cracky type that. movies. You know, I'm not into the wise cracking thing. Huh. You know? mm. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said uh, I'm amazed to see so many lists of The Exorcist. That's a really, it's a yeah, sort of polarizing. I thought film. you see for me the 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 twirling head and the vomiting pea soup was funny. It didn't really <laughs> frighten me. I thought it was a bit. Silly. <laughs> That's SP you know. base said exorcist Vickers wrestling a child. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. It's brilliant. I mean, it would it it was, I mean, it's genuinely unsettling. And there were times during the movie when you you're going, you go, you know you're going back into that room again. And you'd really rather not. Because it's not, you know, none of none of what's going on in there is nice. I think for me, it's a lot because um, I, I don't believe in the devil and therefore I'm not afraid of the devil. And I think for a lot of people, you know, all those reports of people going crazy. Oh, that's the, just tight. That's just the screenings yeah. and the rest of it. I, no, I knew people who, who were completely freaked out by really? it. Really? But I, you know, I don't believe in the devil and I don't believe in demonic possession. Mm. Yeah. Um, so on that level, it wasn't. I agree wasn't uh, about Kubrick, uh, decrypt axis. Oh, I don't think I mesh with Kubrick. I just oh. I agree. I don't. I can't think of a, a Kubrick movie that I'm really crazy about. Well, uh, Space Oddity is one of them. I'll never Paths say of, that in front of Malcolm. Paths of Glory is one of them. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Doctor that. Doctor Strange Love okay. is is utterly brilliant. I give you that. Um, he. He had a tendency to want to make movies as a technical challenge. Barry Lyndon, by the way, uh, which is is and the, the whole purpose for him shooting it uh, was a, a technical challenge. He set himself to see if he could make a movie without using an artificial light. And the whole of uh, Barry Lyndon is shot either either daylight Never or thought. candlelight. Um, it's not great. It's interesting. Eyes Wide Shot is complete trash. I agree. Um, um, I, th I, I love think, you, Malcolm. I love you, honestly. I but I Orange is massively overrated. watched and I first have. half of Clockwork Orange, never went any further. I was pretty bored by it. Sorry, Malcolm. What are we missing? Um, Full Metal Jacket is brilliant. Is that um, the movie? It's sort of two movies, isn't it? Full Metal Jacket. It's the beginning in boot camp. Yes. And the guy kills himself and... Yeah. And then it sucks after that. Mm, well, I wouldn't say so. Well, anyway, I think Kubrick is terribly overrated. Yes, Exorcist 3 is an awesome movie. Yes, it is. Scary. It is George C. Good. Scott is yes. amazing. Yes. Brad Dorf is amazing. Doug, what do you believe in? Cheese. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cheese is God. That's going to be a headline in Bloody Disgusting tomorrow. Doug Bradley <laughs> doesn't believe in the devil. Does believe in cheese. <laughs> What's your Doug, favorite you, kind of cheese? Are you being what? I don't what I don't, I don't, know. That's, I don't have a favorite one. That's pepper jack for me. Hatter plays. I don't know what you're saying. Is that an abbreviation for something? I don't know what that means. David, can you what she's saying? Doug, are you being are you being oh are you joking or being serious? About, about what? what? Satan. Oh, Doug's very, an atheist. If serious. you don't believe don't... in God, you don't believe in the devil. Yeah. Um, Simple as that. Right. Uh, Satan. Um, the, the... Satan is a concept anyway. Satan, it's not like there's a, a, a being. Satanists don't believe there's an actual being. Some do. Some do. Some do. They don't all. Um, 
Satan is a Hebrew word, shaitan, and it basically meant the enemy. It basically meant anyone who was an who was an enemy, right. literally, physically, an enemy of the um, of the Israelites in the Old Testament. Um, but but the devil, as we know him, the devil as portrayed in the Exorcist, is a Christian invention. Um, he, that that figure does not exist prior to Christianity. It's invented by Christianity because Christianity is is a white hat, black hat religion. You know, you're either on the side of good, so therefore there has to be there has to be a force of evil. There's a problem as well. If you're a believing Christian, if you believe that God is omnipotent and he created, he's responsible for creation and he created everything in it, then why is the devil in it? If you believe in the devil, why is he there? Either that means um, that the devil is an equal but opposite force to God, that God cannot control, in which case he's not omnipotent. He's not all powerful because there's something there that he can't do anything about and he can't control and he can't stop. Um, uh, or uh, God created the devil and why would he do that? Why would he, why would he play such a stupid game with us? Paul Gustav Jung devoted an entire book to this issue called The Answer to Job. Job in the Old Testament is a God-fearing guy. He's done everything right, lived his life properly according to all the religious codes and god gives him nothing but grief and shit in re in return and he asks why why do you let this happen why do you let this happen um and if you go if you go prior to christianity you you find for example the great god pan um so brilliantly portrayed in kenneth graham's the wind in the willows in the chapter that gave the title to the Pink Floyd's first album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn, when Pan finds the lost child. And it's it's such a moving moment at the end of the chapter where the, everybody's out looking for the for the for the child all night, and he's found in a corner of a misty field, nestling between the hooves of the great god Pan, who has all the attributes that we associate with the devil and with Satan in Christianity, the cloven. Hoofs, uh, as often as not, the permanent erection, the goat's head, the goat's horns, the hairy chest, etc. All of that. But Pan is really a force of nature, and you know, nature isn't good and nature isn't bad. It just is, and it does wonderful things, and it does beautiful things, and it gives us life, and it gives us, you know, rainbows and grass and flowers and bees and hummingbirds and all the beautiful things and it gives us hurricanes and tornadoes and, and cancer and cancer and several inches of snow which i was shoveling <laughs> um, from our side several. Like earlier this week point. till a voice said um doug doug and i looked up and it was one of our neighbors coming coming down the um the street with a snowblower coming through <laughs> coming through um at that point, they were my my uh, my guardian angels. Sorry, David. Um, mm -hmm. uh, um, so, and if you look at the goddess Kali in the Hindu religion as well, she's 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 the mother goddess. She's the life giver. She she is the nurturer. She is the holder. She is the creator, and she's also the killer and the destroyer, combined in in two things. And you know, earthquakes, volcanoes. Um, I always think it's it's very strange when when Christians ask people to pray, you know, for to give thanks to God for the survivors of a hurricane after an entire community has been destroyed. Well, how about wondering why the fuck God allowed your entire community to be destroyed in the first place, rather than thanking him for sparing the church? I, I never quite get that. So we're getting a long way from a trivia quiz. But yes. um that's that's part of my my thought process david when we first got thing. this house um if you scroll back to what year did we get this house 2013 13 I think? 14 2013 yes. end of 13 there was a lot of work to do i think the second day we started working 
and we were peeling off wallpaper and scraping things and sanding things and uh knock at the door and it's a fucking <laughs> it's oh, a jehovah's witness jehovah's witnesses and i only have about what 15 30 seconds of it yeah steph uh, steph recorded me, me. <laughs> Yeah, I sort of sat on the stairs and started recording some of it. Oh, it's quite wish. wonderful. He <laughs> he literally rendered the woman speechless. It was quite funny. And then remember the other guy? I swear to God, God he was, that guy he was, was ready to convert nasty. to atheism by the no, 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 not that guy, oh, not that guy. Right. No, the other guy that came. He was okay. like, he yes. kept wanting to talk to Doug. It was so funny. Yeah. He's like, gonna, I think that guy's an atheist now. He's gonna go back. He's gonna go back to the fucking what are the what are the halls called? The Jehovah's uh, the, Witness. The witness. The windowless buildings that they. Oh, the Kingdom Halls. Yeah, Kingdom yeah. Halls, so yeah, that yeah. Guy's there, there's back. one like a half hour. Put his from fucking me. watchtower pamphlets down and walk out. Yeah. I um, always debate and look. Uh, Clarence Darrow, the great, um, the great American defense lawyer, who was the defense lawyer in the Scopes Monkey Trial. That, that formed the basis of the play and then the movie Inherit the Wind um, when the Kansas school board put a teacher on trial in the 1920s for teaching evolution in the, in the classroom. And Clarence Darrow was, in, in, in the real life case, he was the defense lawyer. He said, you know, we can all circ circumvent, <clears throat> excuse me, all of this argument if we all agree that we are agnostics because none of us know. And as much as I may not believe in your God, I can never prove to your satisfaction that your God does not exist. And as much as you do believe in your God, you can never prove to my satisfaction that, you know, short of a thunderbolt from, you know, George Carlin, thunderbolt from, <laughs> from heaven on, on demand, you can never prove to my satisfaction that your God does exist. And the conclusion we must draw from this is that none of us know. Um, I, I'm pretty certain now that science has proved that the that, um, the universe was not created in six days. I think we know that now. I don't think that's the theory. <laughs> I Wait, think you mean that one day this happened and the next day that happened and then suddenly we're all here? Sunday put his and then there was a the sheets. And, on Sunday, yeah, and, then there, <laughs> and then there was sheets. And God and, created sheets and football. Um, I agree with that. FC Kruger, he said, either God exists, either God doesn't exist, or he's unimaginably cruel. Yeah, yeah. Kids get cancer. Exactly. Like, in, in some yeah. babies are born that? and just die. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. Well, you look at look at the God in the Old Testament. He he makes it very clear. He says, "Look, I'm God. Nobody else is God." I am nobody else. You worship me and nobody else. Or I'll okay? kill you. And if you don't I'll worship burn me, you. and specifically, if you don't worship me in the ways that I tell you to <laughs> worship me, I will wipe you out. And he does. He's a genocidal narcissistic maniac. Hey, yep. <laughs> this is what he said to the to the Jehovah's Witness that came to the door. She's like, um, um, uh, um <laughs> uh, well, um. And you get it get into all the shit in Deuteronomy. And you know, if um if 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 I discover now that Steph is wearing clothes made from more than one um <gasps> cloth, I have to stone her to death. What kind of stone are we talking? If, no, not, oh. not the kind of <laughs> uh, and if uh if my neighbor is growing um two more different than crops two different crops on yeah. his land, I have to stone him to death. This is not a great way to live your life, people. No. You know. But what's so, funny uh, is when, when you bring when you bring that up to certain you know people it, with that religious belief, they're like, "Oh, well, you that was uh, you're not weren't supposed to take that literally. That was all yeah. figuratively." I'm like, "That's your argument." <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't know how else you're supposed to take that. How what about a, how yeah. about you just be a good fucking person? Yep. Okay. How about you just be a good person? You don't harm anyone unnecessarily. Try and do good when you can. Don't be an asshole. Yes, well, well, that's the, the whole argument that you can uh, you you can only you can only live your life in a moral way if you have religious beliefs, which I think is utter nonsense. And the history mm. of religion and the history of the world demonstrates otherwise. You know, that's my. That's, I think that might be my Halloween costume this year. I'm just going to carry a door around. 
Micah. Oh, you're going to be a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> yeah. Let's order a stack of uh, of Watchtower things. Yep. Oh, I got a big... I have a, I got a big fucking booklet in the mail the other day, didn't I? Yes, Some how to so- pray. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Where did this come from? I feel like your house is being targeted for certain religious I activities. I thought for sure after that first time we would have been blacklisted, but they were back twice after that. Yeah. We have been called Satanists by... Yeah. But they're studying back like the they're going up the hierarchy of Jehovah's. What's really weird is we're like probably the most normal people on this entire street and yet we look like the weirdos, but we're not actually. We knew we were in trouble with that neighbor when they introduced themselves to me as Oh, we're, we're just a good Christian family. Good oh Christian family. fuck. Yeah. I, I and, came in and I said, Steph, we're in trouble. <laughs> They're a good Christian family. And, and um, you know the truth of it? They were. We were. Fucking trash for two years. Cops all the time, screaming, yelling, violence, dirt, filth. Awful. Awful. Which is pretty awful. much the history of Christianity. Yeah, exactly. So they're living, they're living up to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is only, I knew as soon as somebody has to say that, yeah, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna be the exact opposite of that. Just like the whole First Amendment thing that I texted you about the other week. Oh, God. When you're in an argument and you yeah. say, like, oh, well, it's I'm my gonna... First Amendment right. <laughs> it's my right. They can't even agree with each other. I mean, there's no, there isn't a thing called Christianity. There's Catholicism and Protestantism, and then Protestantism, Protestantism is subdivided into, <laughs> you know, Episcop. I wish I hadn't started this now. Episc- oh the God. Episcopalians um, and uh, the Baptists and the Methodists and the what am, what am I missing out? All the rest. What are, of the, what the, are we? The, the are Anglicans you? and you were a Methodist. I was a Methodist. I was a Methodist also. My um, my parents were well. My dad had, was raised Church of England. Um, my mum was Baptist, and they became Methodists. Yeah. I grew up going to. I don't understand the point of, of of that. I was baptized a Methodist, and never in my life did we go to church or anything. Oh. There's a manger under the tree. Oh, my my parents. Silly. Church, my dad and I would cut out Simpsons faces and put them on. Me as a kid. Oh, I love that. I took my scripture <laughs> exam when I was when I was I don't know some age, eleven, something like that. I got ninety nine percent in it. So I know I'm fucking, we're doing a trivia quiz. Yeah, why are you apologizing? That's <laughs> person, my apologies. No, we can we can have conversations. It's totally cool. I'm sure people are enjoying this conversation. Uh, by what, we will not talk about politics. Don't by, even ask. By what name, by what name is the actor, <coughs> bless you. you I was a sneezing. cough. It was a cough. It's only a cough. <laughs> by what name is the actor William Henry Pratt better known? I don't know this. William Jesus Christ Superstar. I don't know this. Where's your answer? Time's up. Anybody get it? No takers. No takers. Anybody have a guess? The chat the chat has, has grown oh, to a halt. I didn't realize that was his real name. Bill Mosley. We've got <laughs> Uh, Elton John, he's not an actor. Not, <laughs> Elton John's. No, no, no. That's no. another call from now on. Elton, <laughs> Elton John. Uh, reportedly on his way to his his first job, and he he um he did a clever trick. He had absolutely no professional experience whatsoever. He wrote down the the title of every play that he'd seen in the West End in London and pretended that he'd been in them all, which. Uh, so impressed the agent that he was applying to that the agent took him on and got him a job and on his way to that job he decided that William Henry Pratt you know Bill Pratt was a bit of a lame name for an actor so he found a surname that belonged apparently somewhere on his mother's side of the family and then added a first name to it because he thought it went well with the surname the answer is Boris Karloff oh I don't think I knew that. Was born as William Henry Pratt. And he was also half Indian, of course. Not um, not Native American, but, um, you know, actually the country. He was half Indian, which uh, he was never allowed to acknowledge, of course, um, Why? Uh, in studio publicity. Because the studio didn't want, you know, didn't want 
they want the public to know that you've got a darkie. Is that what they thought? Oh, then? just uh, st flat, straight out racism. Wow. He was not allowed to own up to that. Really? I think the same was true of Olivia de Havilland, wasn't it? And I think she was also never allowed to own to that. Hmm. No takers on that right. one. And now they venerate um, Good night, cutie bear, or cutie bears 420 is saying good night to me. Hmm. Good night. Sleep well. <laughs> Don't let the center bites. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> have you been have you been saving that one up? I or did so. you just, just thought of it and I thought it out of right now. Yeah, I pulled it right out of my ass. Put it back where it came <laughs> from. <laughs> <laughs> that delivery though. Whew. It was. This is easy, but I like this question. <laughs> In poltergeist, <clears throat> what grabs Robbie Freeling through his bedroom window? The tree. Mm, yes. That's missing that link. Missing link. Missing link. Tree. Is that missing link or miss? Ink? Well, it's, it Ink takes link. me a while to, <laughs> to translate some of these. Miss. It's actually spelled with a one, but I see it. It's missing link. Yes, the tree. Cool. Yes. Which we were talking about the tree that we have outside of our bedroom window that grabbed by a tree. Scared the shit out of us. Uh, next question. We, we talk about oh, our tree. Oh, sorry. The, the oaks. Yes. Sorry. I thought you'd finished. The, well, yes. No, talking about was. our tree. Yes. Our terrifying tree I'll outside and, of our window. I'll try and I'll try and be. So if we're lying in bed, we 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 look at our window and there's a street lamp outside which shines through. We have quite a large tree right in front of our house. So it shines through the branches onto the window. And um, suddenly <laughs> there was there was this thing in profile going. It's so scary. Like, what the fuck was that? It had like a hook nose. It looked like a witch <laughs> rocking back and forth. It was really scary. And now all the leaves have fallen off the tree and it's yeah. gone. And I said, only last night, I'd rather miss it. <laughs> well, the reason that happened is because they they dug up all the sidewalks outside and like replaced some of the telephone posts to the street. The tree was doing thriller. <laughs> yeah, 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 the thriller day. It was. It was. <laughs> it kind of was. That but was it was scary. more like a kind of. Yeah, it was like. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind it of was weird. It was very unsettling. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, um, the 1957 biopic of the life of Lon Chaney Sr., Man of a Thousand Faces, who played Lon Chaney? <clears throat> I don't know any of these. These are hard. Not Lon Chaney Jr., no. It might seem an obvious choice. Doug Bradley. Doug Bradley, <laughs> I wish. Um, I, I, we, we did touch on, uh, the, there was a, a point at which um, Tom wanted to do a remake of The Man of a mm. Thousand Faces, and I was volunteering myself to play Cagney, and he would direct it, Bella Lugosi. No, the answer is James Cagney. Mm. Mm -hmm. The movie that made Tom Savini want to be a professional makeup artist. Mm. Uh, I'll ask a follow-up question to oh. that. Uh, because the name went up there, uh, Lon Chaney Jr., of course, was Lon Chaney's son. That was not his actual name. Obviously, Chaney was his first name. What was his surname? First name, the, birth, birth name. Surname is last name. Well, is obviously... We don't do surname here. It's oh, last, last name. name. Yes, last name. Was obviously Chaney. So repeat that. Well, what what was what was Lon Chaney Jr.'s actual first Last name? name? First name. First name. Yeah, you got some difficult ones. Oh, we restarted the clock. Being mm -hmm. generous. Yeah, these are difficult. God spoke to me. Is that right? Le ah, Leonidas is Lon Chaney Senior's actual first name. Charles. Uh, no, <laughs> it's. It's it's a slightly unusual name. It's Crichton, oh. C R E I G H T O N, huh. and uh, um, he didn't adopt Lon Chaney Jr. until his father died. He didn't dare. Uh, Lon Chaney Sr. did his was determined um, that uh, uh, 
his son was not going to be an actor, did his level best to keep him uh, out of acting. But it's all that Cheney Jr. ever wanted to do. And as soon as uh, as soon as Daddy was dead, he called himself Ron Cheney Jr. Mm. and off he went. Crichton was his first name. Is it Crichton or Crichton? Uh, well, I pronounce it Crichton. Maybe it might be Crichton. Uh, I was it was it his I I oh, I think it was it was either his mother's first name or his mother's maiden name. I think. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, if that was I've heard that as a last name. That was Lon Chaney. Yeah, that was Lon Chaney Jr.'s first name, Crichton. Here's a Hellraiser question. Oh yes. In the first two Hellraiser films, how many different actors play Frank Cotton? Actually, the first film. Dale Browning, three. Three. Were... Can you name them? This is just for shits and giggles, no extra points. Can we name the three actors who play Frank? Nobody trying? That one might be too hard. Mm. Uh, Sean Chapman plays Frank as we see him when he turns up at the house and does very naughty things with um, Julia. And then Oliver Smith plays skinned Frank because Oliver is extremely skinny, which you have to be in order to wear a a skin suit on someone got Kino Cretin got uh, Oliver, Oliver Smith. Smith. And then of course, uh, Andy Robinson plays Frank in Larry's skin at the end of the film. So the, the Jesus wept. Uh, no, not Simon. No, not Simon Bamford, who of course was Butterball. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's funny that nobody nobody thought of Andy. So, you know, Jesus wept. That's Frank in Larry's skin. So he's really playing Frank at that point. Come to daddy. Uh, Your turn. That was in my turn again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, going back in time again. Uh, 1931 Fritz Lang classic movie in which Peter Laurie plays a child murder murderer stalking the streets of Dusseldorf. What is the name of the movie? Oh, that was quick. There um, you go. That was quick. Only got the, the damn clock up. Yeah. Wait. Life is in the load. M. Yep. Life is in the load. Had it before you started the clock, David. Jesus. Okay. My favorite movie, I said. Cool. It's a, Oh, it's Life a, is uh, the sole the owner of uh, First Place. All right. Wow. Wow. Nice. Cool. Well done. Who's who's tracking David Dorco? What? Oh yeah, um, yeah. Davey's Davey second, and then pretty much everyone else is third. Okay. Davey's got a full point between uh, uh, second place. Ready for another? Yes. Now watch your wording on this. Who speaks to Isaac? In the Children of the Corn. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Heart attack. The one behind the rose. The one behind the rose. Yes. Great name. That was a weird night. Do you remember the night in, I can't remember, Jersey? The steakhouse in Jersey? And Fucking Isaac at the dinner table with us. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yes, we've had a few of those dinners there. Isaac and Malachi. We had dinner with Isaac and Malachi. <laughs> yeah. Ray Wise was kind of on that. Well, I had, I, he didn't creep me out. He was. I didn't like going to that. Um, I hadn't seen Twin Peaks yet. But no, it was sitting at that. I think that was one of those moments because I was like obsessed with Children of the Corn when I was a kid. Me and my uh, my cousin would hum the um, 
you know, the music to it and freak out our grandparents all the time. <laughs> and we're sitting there eating and it's just like one of those moments, you know, I, I typically relate to everyone sure. as them nice. and not yeah. as the characters, nice. but I have those moments every once in a while where you just sit there and go, oh, what the fuck? We had dinner with the devil. What the hell? Who? Um, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Uh, um, Damon from The Exorcist. Oh, Harvey. Yes. Yeah, that was in uh, Florida. Yes. Harvey uh, Stevens. And he talks like this. He does. <laughs> no, straight up, he does. He talks well, like see, this. He didn't look Lovely anything. guy. He didn't look anything like him. No, no, he was no. an older, no. Know, yeah. older yeah. guy. But, no, yeah. yeah. He talked like that. Not at all how you expect Damon to talk. You know what I mean? No, I mean that. Straight up. But Isaac straight and Malachi away. still look like Isaac and Malachi. Yes. In, and it's weird. The, um, yeah. Disturbing. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> Same was true of Ray Wise. It was every time he smiled, I kind of... <sighs> yeah, you were creeped out. Had a moment. I wasn't. Yeah. And then we came home and watched, binge watched Twin, Twin Peaks because I'd never seen it. I'd never watched well, it. That's no. Probably why he wasn't creeping you no. out. Yeah. No. Um, in Saw, did you see Saw? Mm -hmm. I saw Saw. I saw Saw too. Too. Um. Uh, Tobin Bell's character is generally known as Jigsaw or the Jigsaw Killer, but what is his actual name? John Kramer. Kramer. FC Kruger, FC Kruger 1428. All right. Got it. That one. You already did this one. Okay. It was the first horror film to show a woman in just a bra and a slip. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Don't know that. My, my. Oh. Yes. Maybe I do. Dale Browning. Yes. Yeah. Psycho. Psycho again. That's the movie of firsts. Yeah, First toilet flush. It's right at the beginning, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Janet the, uh, yes. Motel. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We have uh, Dale's tied for second. Uh oh. Oh. Do you have, do you have a few and, good ones? And how, how far behind? Life, life, life in the lo load, or whatever. It, what? Uh, full there? point. Uh, one point only separates us. Uh, okay. Uh, John Ireland stars as a botanist in which 1957 Hammer film? Jeez. Can't even read that. You can't? No. Even with your reading glasses? No, or? it's like abbreviated. I have no idea what that says. Oh, it's well, like it's your a shopping list. Yeah, but it's well, it's written by me, so I know what you've <laughs> right. read. Uh, no, that, that was a, that oh, was a little harder. Is that right? No. No, not the day of the trip. That wasn't a hammer movie. Uh, the answer is the abominable snowman. Mm. Oh. What's the answers to these ones? I figured them out. That's why they'd gone to the Himalayas. That was the slight clue in it. The reason they'd gone to the Himalayas was looking for rare flowers. What's the answers to these ones? Um, uh, I, um, you didn't print them out? No, but I've, I, well, the ones I was going to ask, um, I've written the answers next to, but I think there was only three of them. Ooh. You could ask that one. Which one? This one. This one? Mm hmm Oh, that's difficult. No one's gonna get that. Do you think? That the that one just marked? Yeah. That's I wouldn't know. Well, so no, the question yeah, that's... is um go ahead, try it. Uh there's a there's a guy called Paul Bateson who made a very, very brief appearance in a very well known horror film doing something that he did professionally as a living. The director saw him doing it and asked him to do it in the film, which he did. He subsequently was convicted of murder and spent 20 years in prison. What was the movie that he appears in? Uh, 
Oh, the Exorcist. There you go. Life's in the load. Life is in the load. Two yep. point what, lead. What was he doing in the movie? He's uh, he's a medical thing, a cardiologist thing, I think. Okay. And I, I I guess they must have been doing research, and they asked if they could see a oh, thing. Oh, he's an X-ray tech. Done. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah. Subsequently, um, uh, and pretty nasty, I think, wasn't he? More than one killing homosexual men in. I can't remember the name of the city if anyone else remembers wow. that. But uh Yeah, um, good job, life's in the load. Yeah, well done. Never good heard stuff. That. Harder one that. What was the original title of the blob? <laughs> I just thought this was funny. Blubber. <laughs> Blubber. <laughs> the blob. Original title of the blob. Great big fat girl. Wait. Nobody. Time's up. Snot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should get a bonus goo. point for that. But... Um, goo. the glob. The glob. <laughs> Which I think is funny because it's Sounds so close. Like just, you know, uh, originally to be called the glob until it was discovered that the title had already been used by cartoonist Walt Kelly. Really? Yeah. What else could they have called it? Flob. Slob. The slob. <laughs> I like snot. That would be scary. Um, uh, I've got a well, I've got another actor question similar to the last one, but not so difficult, I don't think. Um, in Hammer's 1965 film She, based on H. Ryder Haggard's She Who Must Be Obeyed. Um, Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee feature in the movie, of course, but who plays she? Her. Ursula uh, Andress. Oh, well, there we Straight go. Straight off SP base. Correct. Well done. Uh, base is also tied for. Oh, we got a three way tie for second. Ursula uh -oh. uh, Andress, who, of course, to I think um, every. Every uh, red-blooded boy of my generation was, of course, known as Ursula Andress. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> well, I don't have this written down, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, what was the date uh, flashed on the screen uh, in the opening of Return of the Living Dead? Ooh, good one. Return of the Living Dead day. Come on, people. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Final guesses. Nope. Full date. Full date. No. <clears throat> no one's got that. Month, day, and year. No, nobody? Nobody. I thought that would be a relatively easy one. I, I did too. I, I didn't even bother writing it down. They're just popping in my head. July 3rd, 1984. Right? Yeah. Where, where are people coming up? 16th of August, 1985. What's that about? Are people talking about when the movie was released? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be scolding people. No. no, I'm wondering where people are pulling the um, dates from. I'm curious. Is that that's when it came out? So is that officially Night of the Living Dead Day? Return, of the, Return, Return of the, of the Living, Living Dead. Living Dead. The, um, the, Living the coffee Dead. break of the Living Dead. Huh? The early afternoon of the Living Dead. <laughs> I hear you. That's okay. There's a question. That's another question. Oh. How many of the main characters survived Night of the Living Dead? <laughs> you hear that, David? <laughs> yeah. Brundlefly. Zero. Oh no, sorry, SP base was first. Zero. None. 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 Nobody That's survived. That's so sad. That's rare. I would think, it isn't is, it? is. To have not to have the hero survive. Did you completely fall in love with Ben? Yeah. And then oh. Base is God. the sole owner of second place. Okay. What the hell was that? Up there? And uh how far behind life in the load is 
space. Uh, the next point would be a tie for first. Oh, okay. Do you oh, have any more good okay. ones? Uh, I don't know whether it's good, but I can. I have one. These are tough. Um, in Hammer's 1962 version of the Phantom of the Opera, 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 the, the Phantom Oprah, of the, Oprah. The, the, Phantom, the Phantom of the Opera, the Phantom of Opera. <laughs> um, I'll start the question again. In Hammer's 1962 version of Phantom of the Opera, who plays Eric, the Phantom? <laughs> Eric the Half a Bee. Eric the Half a Bee. Dum, dum, dum. Is this little demi bee? Need to start the clock, David. Yes. Oh, my bad. Still on zero. Not Lon Chaney Jr. Not Claude Rains. Half asleep. Upon my be Herbert Long, correct answer, the Kino Cretin. Well done. I'm going to re ask this question because I love it so much. Oh, and okay. um, it was a while ago since we did the, the last I trivia. So, uh, yes. Which song did Jonathan Demme originally want to hmm. use in Buffalo Bill's dancing scene, in the tuck scene, and Silence of the Lambs? The, the cane, the horses. Yes. Song he originally wanted to use. Nobody? Hmm. No material. That would have been good. <laughs> that would have been great. No. Um. Her strut by Bob Seger, which I'm so surprised that nobody has has redone that scene with the song "Hip to Be Square." No. Yeah, her strut by Bob Seger, which is a great song because Bob Seger is great. But thank God, uh, he went with Goodbye Horses. Uh, yeah, how different that could have been, huh? Well, entirely so. Yes. Great song, but would have been good for Bob Seger. He's not really known in the United Kingdom, not like he is here. He's a national treasure here, isn't he? Yes, I love me some Bob Seger. You do. Not as much as Marka, our neighbor. Our neighbor. Does. No, yeah. you're on equal, equal ground. Um. I shouldn't have put two pieces of cheese in my mouth at this point. I apologize. <laughs> um, Go on. I'm going back to Hammer Films again. Uh, I'm going to read the title of four Hammer movies. And you are going to tell me which one of... in. You are going to tell me in which one of the four... Christopher Lee did not play Count Dracula. So four movies, in three of them, Christopher Lee played Count Dracula. In one of them, he did not. The four movies are The Scars of Dracula, The Brides of Dracula, Taste the Blood of Dracula, and Dracula AD 72. In one of those movies, Christopher Lee did not play Count Dracula. You have to look because I don't know the answer to that. And there's a correct answer. SP Base, Brides of Dracula. Oh, no, sorry, Dylan 98 said Brides. I'll accept that because the rest is being repeated. Right. Brides, it's only three, three letters difference, but I'll accept that. Have you got that name? Dylan 98. Dylan 98, mm -hmm. got that correct. Yeah. Brides of Dracula, the other three. All right. Uh, oh. What is Norman's hobby in Psycho? We asked this one last time. Yeah. Were you paying attention? Taxidermy, yeah, life's in the load. Go. Oh, full point uh, lead now. Yep, all right. You got another one? How far behind um, base is the chasing pack, David? Is it one point? Uh, yeah, a full point separates uh, base from third place. Third place. Yep. Okay. And then a full point to first one place. One place between 
life is in the load and base. Okay. Correct. <laughs> Murdering women. <laughs> Murdering so, women. Yes, that, well, too. That, was, uh, that too. That was kind of the job, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he only killed. It is only the one, isn't it? Well, did as he kill his mother? Know. I mean, isn't I, it? No, I don't think so. I think she he... died and he just kept her in. The bed. Well, I isn't think that was isn't the idea, well, isn't the the think the, he killed her? The assumption is he poisoned. Oh, he poisoned poisoned her, her and the yes, lover. Yes, he did. Yes, that's yes. Yes, you're, yes sorry. Well, I mean, it, he you're never. Right. Did they outright say that, or is it just implied? No, it, it, it no, because there's they find the poison, it's don't they? It's sort of told, ambiguous. It's told in the um, in the book. In the no, in the interview with the, is it the private detective who finds it? Mm. God, I can't remember now, but yeah. Um, I like this one. Uh, Hammer again. Which regular Hammer actor appeared in Laurel and Hardy's 19, 1939 movie, A Chump at Oxford? Oh, there you go. Peter Cushing. Jason Hellraiser. Yep, Peter Cushing was... Was in a Laurel and Hardy Hardy movie. That's great. How fucking cool is that? Is that true? Norman kills eleven over the course of the original series of films. The original series of films. There wasn't an original series well, some, of they, films. They re, they remade it. They remade oh. Psycho. Well, yes. Garbage. Well, the remake of Psycho was was on it. That was like a, a frame for yeah, frame. Yeah. Like, what's the point? Remake what's of the, the point? original. You know. Yeah. I liked Is it three that I liked part three. I think so. It's the same woman uh, that in that that was in Pet Cemetery. Am I right in saying that? Uh, I would. It was know. Denise Crosby. No, Denise was Denise Crosby in Part Three. I don't know. The woman. We know Denise. Why would we I say do. it like that? That woman. That woman. That actress. Oh, she's person. lovely. She's a lovely she person. She's gorgeous. Four okay. Psycho movies. That's right. Yeah. What's the one where he picks up the hitchhiker? She's a nun. That's not Denise Crosby, is it? Mm. Nobody knows. You've got other questions there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I do. They're kind of yeah. lame, though. Are they? Well, yeah. I'll still, ask them anyway. Yeah. I haven't who? Them. Who? Well, we're going to wrap it up anyway soon. Okay. There are three psycho movies too many. Well, you know. <laughs> who is responsible for releasing the deadly virus in 28 Days Later? Great series of movies. Life's in the load. Animal rights activists. Animal rights yes. Activists. <laughs> yeah. yep. Those pesky animal rights off. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't say that. Betty White is listening. No, I love her. She's the only one I'll give room to. Absolutely. And Cassandra. And Cassandra. And Linda. And Linda sometimes. <laughs> hard questions. There are hard questions. I have only one more. I've got a lot of questions here. I have one of the answers the answer cut out. I think they did. They're probably on my desk. Don't get up. I can't. I'm going to wrap much. it up soon anyway. Do you have a question here? I have a question here. I've eaten too much cheese. With this, so. <laughs> I've eaten too much cheese. <laughs> there is not been good for a uh, chair squeak right after that. Yeah, bad. I was planning to. Well, I was, <laughs> I was planning to finish my Indian takeaway at the end of all this as well. Uh, okay. Um, in it, what do the group of kids call themselves? Oh, I hope everybody gets this one right. No, not the lists club. <laughs> I think you misspelled oh. that. Shane. What's being asterisked? Where? Where? Oh, are they really? Wait, they won't let you say really losers on Twitter. Fucking losers? 
Really? There's a lot well, of sensitive Sally's out there. Yeah, they no. are. Because yes, Some they of these, are. No, yes, Jason they are. Jason was. Yes, they are oh. because I could see it here on my chat on the phone. Really? So whatever's wow. going on in that chat, <laughs> so they they blur out. Uh, they asterisking out. They losers? do it to Pinhead too. I know they did it to Pinhead. <laughs> pinhead, <laughs> but you can say Pincock. Why can I sit here and say fuck then all all day long, and people can't write losers in chat? They're really going to yeah. ask her. So who was the it first? Might, it might trigger you. Oh, God. It might be triggering. So who was the first person to give the correct answer? Five asterisks club. Shane. Yep, Shane. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So Jeez. Art Attack with another five subs. Love to oh, see thank it. Thank you, Art Attack. Fart. Oh, it's fart. People are actually wasting their lives sitting around deciding which Someone said loser. Quit blur out. Asterisk out. You're putting me sake. in a dark place by saying loser. Because I'm a loser and I don't want to be reminded of it. I made me forget my, my question now. Someone said turn off the chat filter. Is that what it is? It's turned off. Tweeds, why are you writing fart in chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because he... If he can. Oh, just they they, they said losers clib. It didn't spell it as club. <laughs> losers clib. Losers clib. This is a fairly easy question, I think. Shane is saying I think I was right. You Everybody were. gets a point on that one. Oh, we, we did say Shane. I did say Shane. Right. Yeah. Shane, yeah, Shane SDD83 yeah. was the first to say losers. Yeah. Well, they didn't because call tweet... themselves losers. They called themselves the Losers Club. There is a movie I have absolutely no interest in. It? The, uh, the, 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 new, the new ones. The new It. Yeah. I it's not, seen it. If it's not Tim Curry. I, don't I must say, the first, I didn't see the second one, but the first one was pretty top what, Tim Curry? No, the the first oh. it like that. Obviously, the OG first TV it, series. Well, the the first it was well, the, a miniseries on TV. Yeah, correct. I mean, like the first of the remakes, I should say. I think they're doing one more than they're done. One thing is just so. I just don't get it. There was don't. um there was a really good side by side, of um Bill, and Tim at the same age playing uh Pennywise. They do look and, very similar. And that's yeah. that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they're just, I mean, Tim Curry, you just can't. You just Untouchable. Can't. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, just the whole clown thing in general is silly. I just can't get scared or excited over a clown. Remember in 2016 when clowns were like coming to kill all of us? <sighs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a weird time. Still yeah. resurfaces every so often. Yeah. And then Pokemon like, Go came out and everybody forgot that they were about yeah. to get murdered. Everybody the clowns were out there waiting to kill them. The yeah. balloon is very well used in, in it. Yeah. The whole notion of being in the storm drain. I mean, I still, you know, I glance nervously at stor storm drains. Storm drains when killer clowns from outer space. Drain. Yeah, I have all the time in the world for that one. That's just that's a, a fun, that's a whole fun different movie. level of clown. It's a great movie. <laughs> the clown era was fun. What is the clown era, though? There's always been scary clown movies. There were clowns in Hellbound. Are there? Yes. Mm. Briefly. Actually, I have no more questions. I don't need. Oh, well, I, I do. I do. do. This is an easy okay. one, I think. Are you Debbie's roommate? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Yeah, Terrifier and on and uh, I saw it like two minutes from <laughs> two minutes from <laughs> Terrifier. Not interested. Yeah, it's never gonna get old that chair. Quote from the movie: Are you Debbie's roommate? Okay. No, I've I've not seen any of the it movies besides Tim Curry. Um, how many people does Jason kill in the first Friday the Thirteenth movie? It's a good one. Life's in the load. Zero. Zero. None. You're fast, dude. Mommy dearest. Yeah. Life. Uh, I would assume. That's a three-point lead separating uh, first to second. So how many do we have in second place? If we have a tie in second place, we do not. It's base. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then that's it then. So we have. Ah, that's it then. Place. We have a champion. <laughs>
Yeah. Congratulations okay. to Life is in Round the Low. Applause. And, um, they get their choice of so, uh, message, David. And uh, if you have, uh, if you already have, what the hell's the game called? Dead by Daylight. Dead, Dead by, by Daylight. daylight. Um, and, and you would like the Hellraiser chapter, we will give you a code. That doesn't work. For, it, why would you say that? <laughs> well, one of them didn't work. One of them didn't, didn't work. work. We're trying to find out. I, sent, I sent the email. We have codes. Yeah. If you would like a code, we will give you a code. If you do not want a code, you can get a uh, uh, signed 8 by 10 from Doug. Um, yeah. and, so just and, message David yeah. and tell him what you would like to have. Second place winner, same thing. Um, so tell David what dedication you would like on it. Yeah. So there's there are your choices. And your address, obviously. Yes. So give all that to David. Um, I was going to gauge interest in um because uh somebody we were talking about having on the show um probably soon uh there is a documentary called uh is it the history of horror and metal or the history of metal and horror oh yes um made by a friend of ours been in the works for a very very long time oh, god how many years ago is it since i, I did think my it, interview I, I, Two, probably three, five three, six four? seven is it that long ago? years yeah. i think yeah but he has interviewed he's interviewed everyone everybody. everyone alice cooper uh Corey taylor uh tobias from ghost um you tom, oh, me, tom sid, Kane, Bill, everybody sid, hey, everybody uh, you you name him he's got them i mean he's been yeah nothing if not thorough basically so, talking about you know why why does why does metal love horror? Why yeah. does horror love metal? My problem being, I don't want metal. But there you go. Well, which is how I began my interview answer. <laughs> I don't. And it did have its premiere. It had its premiere here in Pittsburgh a few months ago, I think. And we um, didn't go. We didn't. No. Calm down. Because I like that. Party yeah, poops. More like that. No, you know, I would like to not catch not COVID. Get, yeah. But. I think we're, we're getting over that hump now. Um, Was that at the Hollywood? I think so, yeah. Yeah, nice cinema. Cool. So, yeah, I think we're going to have Mike on um, mm -hmm. uh, very soon and talk about that. And hopefully he will have some clips. Um, <laughs> someone says, you don't? I don't. Metal. I and don't. You don't. Here's the thing. When you say you don't like metal and when I say I don't like metal. Right. I think there's a very specific kind of there is metal a very that we're talking about. Kind that I, and it goes like this. Yeah, that's that. That. Okay. Yeah. And every so often it goes. Yeah. That kind. That kind I have but no look, time for. Ozzy is well, considered metal. Yeah. And I love Ozzy. Well, Aussie. I'm not a fan of Black Sabbath. Don't like and, Ozzy's voice. And Motorhead is considered metal. Even though Lemmy himself Lemmy said, has said, don't it's call rock us a metal roll. band. We're a rock and roll it's band. And, and I love Lemmy and I like Motorhead. Um, and we are Motorhead. <laughs> Ghost is a great uh, a point of contention. Uh, not between... a metal band. Not even. But, not but, 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 but they, are, they are considered metal i know i don't, I don't consider well the metal. first the first album was more recognizably mm -hmm. metal those those metal chords it's almost like the hard rock genre just disappeared and it's either right. like metal or butt rock yeah yeah i i i can't do the the screaming crazy shrieking i yeah. get down i get down with some of it okay so cradle of filth metal Huh. Well, yeah, that's oh, metal. Very that's... definitely metal. Yes, and uh, even though I've done five albums with Great Little, but you appreciate the I fact appreciate, that they exist think... and what they do, and I do. And mm -hmm. I think Danny's a pretty smart writer, and he's a hell of a performer, and, and a heck of a nice guy, and a heck of a nice guy, and very funny. And we're still hopeful that we can get him on the show. He keeps. Yeah, I have to answer him. He messaged. Uh, he messaged. <clears throat> he's like a bobbing cork. He yeah. kind of kind of surfaces dude, and disappears. See, do you guys like Judas Priest? I, no. I, they're, they're <laughs> damn, um, Doug. <laughs> see, but you're very. See, but you, you say that very. 
definitively I like Judas right? Priest. I, there are several. I've never owned a Judas Priest album, but there are several Judas Priest songs that I like. Well, it sounds like you got um, another thing coming, Doug. I know this is controversial uh, right now, <laughs> considering. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, considering um, recent allegations coming to light, but I um, have enjoyed uh, Marilyn Manson's music, and I guess some people uh, consider him. We can call him metal. metal. No, I, I don't even. Metal. <laughs> Shock I rock. Like, I love the. Uh, I, 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 you know, there's Tool. Is Tool metal? I wouldn't. Have no. Said no. So. No. See, I wouldn't call um, Slipknot. We still, we are still very hopeful. Uh, of well, we'll see Corey, Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor. We'll will be see on the Corey show. in Atlanta he's going to be in, in February. Atlanta with, so, so we're hoping to, as it were. Yeah, uh, and we know he wants. Down to coming on we the show. know he, he wants, wants to be on. It, so, yeah. Uh, and I, I. Tool is its own genre. Slipknot, yeah. I, I love Slipknot's theatricality first and foremost, um, uh, and I don't, I don't hate everything they do musically. No, same, same, same. I, I own the first Slipknot album on cassette. Wow, cassette, cassette. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. C sixty, C ninety. I don't know, don't know. Wow. But you know, so there are there are uh, you know bands that I do like that are considered metal. And I think there are some yes. bands that you like that are considered metal, but I would not consider metal. I consider a lot of it just rock. But as a as a genre, I yeah. I, like I, I, I'll, uh, I'll get I'll. <laughs> I think there's like metal, death metal, Slayer? and then oh, it sounds like Slayer. <laughs> I you're not going there. Hate it. <laughs> Slayer. So sorry. Would you classify Metallica as metal? Oh, Obviously. Metallica oh, either. Steph. And, I can't. I'm sorry. I think James Hetfield is a literal god on the guitar. But the uh, the uh, dude, literal? what's his name? He's Kirk. Act actually, a god. Kirk. Uh, Kirk Hammett is a huge fan of yours. Yes. Seems yeah. Like a, a huge horror collection. He is massive yeah. horror collector. Someone yeah. says Slayer is thrash metal. Okay. Well, that's what I don't like. Well, I don't like you know death metal, yeah, thrash metal, black metal. Opinions of Motley Crue. I'm a child of the '80s, so I'm a big Motley Crue fan. I, I dig some Motley Crue. I've, I don't think I've ever owned an entire they're, Motley Crue they're album. Hard rock. They're hair, they're, they're hard. hair, yeah, they're yeah. hair and hair spandex rock. rock. They're yeah. not, uh, yeah. um, they're, they're, they're not metal. I don't think. No, I, Tobias on stream would be insane, but I don't think he would ever go out of character. Oh, he, to he a does. Degree. He can't, yeah, he does. He does. It, uh, yes, he, he does, does. interviews. It's yeah. not impossible. It's not impossible. We, we, I would. I would. I would probably pass out personally. <laughs> <laughs> Heck of a nice guy, Tobias. Yes, he is. Everybody oh, from yeah. Europe seems to be just a sweetheart. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Cannibal Corpse. Oh no. 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 Organ Grinder. <laughs> no, I can't. I just can't. I need. I need lyrics and and that you can understand to a degree and and you know rising and falling and distinguishable you know, music yeah stuff what's that. a band or and doug what's a band that like a guilty pleasure that you like that i'm not ashamed of anything i listen to so i can't people are so flipped out sometimes when i tell them what i like because they see my artwork and then they they just, you know, they're like come oh. to know the music i listen to and they're like what i get down to abba i blast that I in the car abba. i do like a lot abba. Of people but do. look my favorite band my favorite band of all time and and the greatest album in my <laughs> opinion ever made is the first b52s album and b52s are forever my favorite band in the entire universe and they but always will be i don't think be. people would be surprised to hear that you're a b52 if, if you truly know me because they're they're you know they're transgressive and wacky and crazy yeah, they're and, fucking and weirdos they make it up as they go along and yeah and, well and, that's the thing shane no uh, you don't know me but if you saw my artwork you would consider you you would you would assume that somebody who makes the kind of artwork that that i make uh, uh and, and sort of into horror and stuff like that would be listening to something really fucking dark and heavy and sometimes i do but not not metal and b52s are very yeah, if, light if and, people, and if people looked at your work only for example people would never ever know that from the age of 12 the guiding musical light of your life has been tony bennett <laughs> tony bennett david I bowie mean, that, b52s and, but, Beatles. But steph steph I, I mean it's not it's not just that she likes tony bennett she 
she she just there you go has his tattoo tattoo <laughs> next to john lennon um john and yoko john and yoko who did not uh, break up the beatles thank you very much <laughs> um we'll put that one to rest so you David? wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily expect that from them. Hall and Oates, for example, who I can't, I have no time for. You love how do you him. not? How do you not like Hall and Oates? <laughs> <Very easily. laughs> Come on, you listen to them, and you but don't David, like David, you them. like Hall and Oates, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, right. see, look okay. at David. Look at him. Tattoos on his head and everything else. Sp Abba S and Hall and Oates. Yeah. <laughs> people, at, people at a red light when they just um, <laughs> hear me jamming out. Give me a man, a man after midnight. Um, <laughs> right i know i know it. this is some uh some bony or bonnie m bony m rasputin bony m. yeah wow. i'm slightly annoyed that that everyone like children know who bony m it's is. literally it was a tiktok like that song yeah. fucking i watched that video like uh of their live yeah or whatever concert go from like you know like maybe 100 million views up to like six seven hundred million Rasputin, oh, yeah. Ra, ra, uh, Rasputin, Rasputin, yeah. All because of TikTok. Russia's greatest love machine. Yeah. <laughs> love disco. I love disco. I think disco should have had a, a longer lifespan, personally. It made me wonder what the average Russian love machine was like in order to, you know, like how Rasputin. much of a love machine do you have to be to be Russia's greatest love machine? Yeah. No. All the vodka made him underperform a little bit. But, you know, I, I am not ashamed of anything I listen to. I love Neil Diamond. Sure. I love Bob Seger. Um, you know, give me 70s rock all day long. Soft rock. You know? Which you, I you love. And... This is funny. This is real funny. <laughs> 2014, we're in Dallas, Texas. We're at a show. Uh, Texas Frightmare. And one of the promoters comes along. It's like, hey, there's this band in town. They're playing at uh house of, house blues. of blues now we yes. don't do after we get done at a convention we usually just want to eat and chill right Polly, i love christopher cross johnny Jesus cash Christ. yes oh um, johnny cash oh. um uh, so there's this Divinity. okay there's a band Divinity. coming by they're gonna come by the show they're big horror fans they're gonna be in costume so that was our introduction to ghost the entire band tobias and all the goals came in full costume to just walk through uh, Texas Frightmare to meet everybody. Um, they meet Doug, they meet Linda Blair, they meet everybody. So um, typically, like I said, we don't go anywhere. And I thought, you know, we had never even heard them. Seeing we them, cool as fuck, like. right? Blah, 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 cool blah, 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 blah. as fuck. And I thought, we're not going to go because look at them. They look cool. We know exactly what they're going to sound like. They're going to suck. They're going to be exactly the kind of music that we can't stand. But we went back to the hotel room. We looked them up on YouTube and we were like, holy shit, we need to go tonight and see them. So in a van, we get into a van. It's me, Doug. Are you revealing what the band was? Yeah, it's Ghost. I just well, you, said haven't, you haven't said that. No. I did. I, did. I said, I said it ghost, didn't I? No. Oh, it was ghost. That was I'm our sorry. first encounter yeah, with ghost. I, th I thought I did say that. That's My apologies. That's not the point of the story. My apologies. No, the point of the story on is... On the way back to the hotel. No, on the way to the show. It's wow. me. It's you. It's Bill Mosley. It's John Kassir, who's, yes. who's the voice of the Crypt Keeper. We should get John on the show. Oh, for sure. Uh, and Twiggy. From Marilyn Manson. <laughs> that's a that's a van ride Great to remember. Guy. Sorry, he's a cool dude. And and uh yeah, see, yes. Darius heard me say ghost. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Thank you, Darius. Um, and and Jordy and I start talking about um well, first of all, we start talking about our anxiety going places. Well, we, you know, we don't like to make plans and we usually don't go places and because it's, it's the anxiety you have, you know, beforehand trying to psych yourself up to go. Um, and, and then we started talking about, you know, anxiety and serotonin and things like that, uh, which brought us to 70s soft rock. And I discovered that Jordy loves 70s soft rock and he loves Michael McDonald and ABBA. Malcolm, and please, <laughs> Michael McDonald is awful loves he loves God. he loves uh 
that's but, the Bee Gees. I mean, that's like, he loves the Bee Gees. That's like open log fire with I, a, with a bearskin rug yeah, and yeah, a, a, like a the time brandy and soft focus candles. The Time Life uh, uh, compilation commercials, yeah. you know. I think Michael is the equivalent to uh, Steph's favorite musician that Doug is a oh. big fan of. <laughs> Don't say it. Can we get through a? A stream without saying her name. Or without saying Kate Bush. No, I don't like Iron Maiden. <laughs> uh, no, no Iron Maiden. Did really? You... Bruce That's Dickinson it. is like a Renaissance man. No, I don't Iron Maiden though. No. Was he a pilot? A PhD? Like but a anyway, punk yeah, you, want so... to, you want to make Steph really happy? Take her to a Renaissance fair oh, where Kate God. Bush is playing live. Please that don't. Make her Please day. don't ever. If there is a hell, that's gonna consist of. <laughs> And Kate Bush all day long. At a Renaissance fair. Yeah. See, Kate Bush is my favorite ever. Don't ever come back here, tweets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. People I love very much love Kate Bush, so whatever. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Jordy, Twiggy loves soft rock. There so I have no shame. But, but it's not, to. it's really, I mean, that uh, Michael McDonald is like that lover's roots. Rock I'm not shit. really, I'm not really crazy yeah. about no. about his voice, like but yacht rock. What? Where does where does seventies soft rock become yacht rock? Well, that's what uh, that's what a lot of younger people call that kind of music. They call it yacht rock. But is that like is that like the Eagles soft rock? Is that? Yeah, yeah. I would know that as supermarket music. Like that's, that's the kind of you worked in supermarkets. Well, when you work at supermarkets, right. yeah, they play very safe, like very elevated music safe you know calming music music that's not going to like piss anyone off when we've, walking we've down always the agreed though and i'm 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 always it's, i think this is an interesting subset too bands you're very much in two minds about and the eagles is the perfect mm -hmm. example for me uh by and large I, with 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 some exceptions like lion eyes which i think is an absolutely brilliant song lyrically brilliant and it's wonderfully sung great melody it's just a great song but generally speaking, I can't stand the rest of, of the Eagles. The, the one song that I really, really hate, Low Than a Bore, is Hotel California. I but hear there are, you. I'm there. There are lots of other times when I hear the Eagles and it just catches me right. Mm. And I just think, you know, there's nothing else in the world I'd rather listen to at the moment. Yeah. And if you were driving on a lovely sunny day with your girl by your side down the PCH, you know, with your soft top down, <laughs> wouldn't you want... Silver well, Lado I mean, that's playing. they are synonymous yeah. with a, with with California. Yeah. The, Eagles, you know, yeah. the Californian seventies, yeah, for sure. What about Prince? I, Prince? Prince. Oh. Love Prince. Fucking genius. I got to see Prince live. You can't stand Def Leppard? Oh, I don't like Tom, that. Mm, I like. That I, one hurts. I like me some Def Leppard. I do. I do. Def Leppard. No. Beach Boys. Eh. Well, if you like Beach Boys, if you like did early you Beach, that? yeah, I did. Oh. I know you feel differently, wow. but here's the thing: if you like early Beach Boys, it's not the Beach Boys; it's the Wrecking Crew, which oh, is well, the that's not the, entirely. A lot of it is the Wrecking fair. Crew. That is the fair. Backing, the back. It is fair that the, the backing on almost it's all of them. How Blaine? Is, how Blaine? Is, um, is 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 the Wrecking? Even on even on late Beach Boys, Good Vibrations is the Wrecking. It's a crew. good song. It's brilliant a good song. song. And musically, it's, it's a good song. It's they're, the Wrecking Crew. Their lyrics are so fucking Brian lame, Wilson's though. I'm sorry. Though. Cars and surfing. Glenn Campbell toured with them when okay. Brian Wilson could, I like CCR. physically couldn't go on tour. Glenn Campbell toured with the Beach Boys playing bass. Uh, I will take Fleetwood Mac over the Eagles any day, and I too. love Glenn Campbell. Love Glenn, Glenn love Campbell, too. Glenn Campbell. Michael Jackson is not where it's at. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> no. No, he why really why does Michael Jackson get a pass? I don't know. I don't why? Know. You really shouldn't. No. Uh, because uh, because uh, I think enough people still claim that the allegations are unproven, unfounded, <sighs> and it's still happening. Love the, the cars, Polly. The, Love the cars. Yes, Benjamin like Orr. <gasps> Benjamin Orr looks like. Is that soft rock? Um. What would what would what would the cars be considered? They sort of rock. belong like and like with Toto. Rock. Who I, I, I like Toto. Like very much. Who doesn't love Toto? Benjamin Orr though looks like if Rutger Hauer and Michelle Pfeiffer had a love child. He's very pretty, very pretty man. Was a very pretty man. Yes, cars. You know Benjamin Orr? Can yes. you bring him to mind? Yes. I'm just trying. I've got my head full of Rutger Hauer and Rutger Hauer and 
fucking Michelle Pfeiffer now. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we should probably go because it's almost 1030. New wave rock. Yeah. Yeah, What's I guess that? that's what they're considered. What's new, new wave the rock? cars. The cars. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm very bad at labels. I don't understand labels. You know, I like I know ACDC. I can tell soul from country, and but I Same don't here. understand. I like the, ACDC. The subdivisions. And I like Guns and Roses. And you know, shoegazers and emos. And I was very obsessed with ACDC <laughs> and Guns and Roses uh, in like. 88 89 when ACDC. every girl my age was obsessed <clears throat> with new kids on the block and i just kept thinking this is this has got to end soon all this this hysteria is going to end soon right must must end they must go away at some point right and they did thank goodness were you an uh in sync or a backstreet boy neither are you fucking kidding me please <laughs> please no, I don't like Megadeth. And yes, yeah, Slash really can play. We saw Slash walk sure through walk yes. through uh, Monster Palooza one Monster, year. Monster like Palooza is an amazing place yeah. for that. You never know. Who, I mean, literally, I think it was the same show. Um, Slash, oh. Slash, and Dick Van Dyke. That was that was, was a, a huge a huge fan apparently and collect shit. I mean, it was late Sunday and I was packing up my table and it's like a long hallway thing at Monster Balloon at the Pasadena Convention Center. And I was aware that way down the bottom end, there was a bit of a kerfuffle going on, which seemed to involve um, a, a kind of diminutive guy in just in black slacks and an over neck white shirt. And uh, that was all I could see. I paid no further attention. And a few minutes later, I'm back behind my table, uh, sorting things out and putting things away. And I glanced up and I thought, oh, there's the guy with the black slacks and the white shirt. Um, it was the. It was like slow motion, wasn't it? It that, was like. That's that's Dick Van Dyke. Just sort of like. <laughs> just little lightly, you know, past, like almost you know. almost skipped. It's like yeah. almost skipped by. It was, yeah. it was pretty cool, I have to say. Yeah. I mean, out of all the people we've met, and it know. turns out quite quite often that once yeah, people well, a lot of people do come by. And That's the show to go to. And stuff, oh, and it's how amazing. sad we will not we will not be seeing Mr. Jeremy anymore walking through the. Oh fuck! <laughs> God, Ron oh, Jeremy. Christ. <laughs> That's what I look forward to every year at Monster Palooza. Was on we, my yearly we, sighting of Ron Jeremy. We were we'd been outside and we were coming back. <laughs> in so there's like a vestibule and there's a chair in the vestibule and between doors we sort of paused and then kept walking and Steph <laughs> oh my god I mean he filthy, filthy. Oh god he looked awful Ugh. and he was wearing like a tatty tracksuit that looked I'm not going to gild the lily here. It looked like it had dried cum stains all over it. It probably did. It was very not it, it, appealing it was, looking at all. Oh, it was very God, troubling. Awful. It was troubling. It really was. He had like Crocs on. Yeah. And like sweatpants. He's only, like, whenever I think back to the Boondock Saints, like that movie could have done without him. Yeah. It's, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was. The world could have done without him. Yeah. Jeremy. One time I bumped into him, like physically oh. bumped into him. Oh. Like, I'm going to <laughs> brush, you had to go to a full decan oh decontamination. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every year, like there he is, there he is. You know, I, like I, shuffle by like a big friggin' I, I hedgehog. Put in, I put in, <laughs> COVID be damned. I put Steph in isolation for a month. She wasn't coming near me. He, he looks like Egg Eggman from Sonic. Oh. <laughs> that was, oh God. Disgusting. Yeah. So awful. No more Ron Jeremy. Okay. On that note. On that note, I have to go take a shower with a wire brush and some bleach. Y'all yes. have a good night. And um, uh, thanks to everybody for taking part. So, and congratulations once again to Life Is in the Load and Base for your um, first and second places. And thank you to everyone who gave gifted subs. Yes, absolutely. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you back here message so, david for your prizes and uh we'll see you next week and, uh, with based, someone don't, don't forget your address for the 10 by 8 and the dedication that you want right same bad time same bad channel see you then bye Peace.
campaign 